Okay, so you guys should be able to hear me, but I won't hear myself. And the noise gate is turned off. Okay, cool. Alright, so let's see. I believe we got free. We're waiting for our opportunity to attack. Our mercenary stack got really expensive. And Macadon is currently kind of getting its ass kicked. Well, we can't declare with that there. Is there anyone else we can pick off while we're waiting? Um, a Pugitory of Boetia, who is not allied to Delphi, Fabes, and Delatia. That could be a very good expansion. Looks like it broke its alliance with, um, with the Antigonids, so yeah. I will fabricate a claim for that as an alternative. My spot. I think I'm. Yeah, I think I'm getting influence. Yes, keep influence. I can't pick off Magar from Phrygia. Well, not Phrygia, Antigonids. Will suck early on, but hopefully the Antigonids will get beaten up a bit by the other successor kingdoms to give me an opportunity. That's really not what I needed. We'll get the stability at least, I guess. Needed that money for the mercenaries. Getting fucked by RNG again. Um, eight, yeah. Well, we can stay at least. You got any good traits? Not really. So a cheaper merc stack I can get. Don't really know. I know there's the pirates over there. So I think I can do to get more money. Also not that good. I mean decent military commanders, but I can't put them anywhere. God. We're only halfway there because of that event. I'll get more stability at least. Why this guy got so expensive. Could go for a refresh and it's new starts since it's a new day, but I'll give this a shot. Just don't think I'm liable to do much. It's gonna take me how long to get 60, 70 more? Seven, 69 more, which is basically 70, 4 divided by 70, no, 70 divided by 4, which is... Just... 10 is 40, 20... So it's like 18 months? Another year? 
They could be in a bad situation by then, if I'm lucky. That'll help. And that's why that's why I have so many negatives. Um, national tax, that'll help. Researcher, which is reducing our research rate a bit. Oh, it was very cheaper merc spam. I kind of wish I knew where the mercenaries were. There should be some at Hella, isn't there? Probably wrong, but. Yes, there is, and they're even more expensive. God, why did the Mercs get so big? Down to harvest. Stability. We do need the money, unfortunately. Stability would tick up, but we need this money. Let's change the... oh, that's because their armies are over here. Back on the at war. Still have a K standing there? Uh, uh, conduct a full and fair investigation. Is that 2K I don't care too much about? Is this 8K I need gone? This is going to actually give me per, uh, a glance to the country. Who is in your rank? He is no one. No. He lives on turn, just as we've done. How much money is this sum? Cost you eight? God damn! I'm going to look up real quick just what causes mercenaries to get bigger. Is it random? Is it like. Set. Um. To count what's supplying on it. And an employee that can pay for them. There's mercenary overview screen. I'm gonna look at that. Did they get rid of that? Um, Bletcher. Should be in the military. Current place to pay for upkeep. Okay. I don't know if we could do it with such expensive Merc stacks. Eight ducats a month is... Uh, 
the cat fled after the dawn. Radicorn Finx. Compensated victims. I don't really care about. Kind of need the money right now. Yeah, I don't know if we can do this with this Merc stack, unfortunately. But we'll just keep saving up money. We'll wait for our opportunity to attack. He should, you know, pull his people off of that eventually, right? Mercenaries. We'll have to move that army eventually. And until then, we're just getting money. I'm getting state owned farmlands, local tax. Antigone, you're going to need that army. You might want to move it off. It probably will after the war with Macadon is over. Got eight ducats. Eight heavies, six light cannon. We'll probably be able to take that army at full morale, but hmm. Ah! Hey, you, you totally want to leave, right? Maybe that'll keep, make them more likely to. No? I swear sometimes the AI knows. I could use the mercenaries to try to conquer these people, but I'll have... Minus four. How far will I get with? I say we kind of have to.
prisoners are going to be at low. Hopefully that combined threat will keep them going. We have five, ten, thirty bumps of mercenaries. Let's see how much is it going to cost to put my? Not really much at all. Start to the siege. Okay, so ideally, I could take like all of Boeotia in this war, which would be enough to permanently fund these mercenaries. But we could disband them and go into deficit as we wait an opportunity against the Antigonoids. Or we might get lucky and have an opportunity against the Antigonoids. We'll see. They still have that AK there, don't they? Yeah, they do. So far, they're not coming to challenge me. Um, yeah, we can't really afford the money. So we'll just let them wander through. Wow, the pseudocids are just carving you up. Egypt had to pee us out. Bad game for Egypt. Oh, are they finally moving their army? Looks like they are. So after the war of Boeotia, we might have a chance to take a go against the Antigonoids. God, if I had waited like, you know, two more minutes, or five more minutes. Oh no, that AK is still there. It's just their levy? First levy of Phrygia. Okay. So they're bringing that levy home. They're in this war too, right? No, they're not. Hmm. But you're Alice, Boeotia, Delphi, and Alicia, who I am at war, if I believe. No, oh, I'm not at war with. Elisha, did none of your allies um, honor your... None of your allies honored it. We'll fabricate a claim on them. We need money to keep going right now. I feel like the money's more important than the discipline. I could be wrong there. But the more we can fund these mercenaries, the better. We got it before they double ward, which is nice. We'll just get military axes, sure, why not? Start sieging that, perhaps? How do you have that already? How do you have a... We're not a regional power. What? 
I think a monarchy. That's right. It's monarchy. You can get one without big regional power, right? What type of government are they? Um. No, you're a republic. You have an archon. How? Is there, like, an event that allows you to get an early le legion? Look, I'm really confused. Oh, God. Cohort. Can we... I can spy a disloyalty, maybe. Is this, that would make him disloyal. I don't think that did enough to convert him, though. Well, not convert him, but you know what I mean. Uh, spy disloyalty. But he seems to have gotten five from somewhere. Uh, legal patronage. And cohorts, permit. Well, he is the heir, so maybe I not too, shouldn't be too surprised that he's not um, rebelling against Daddy. Okay. See if we can pick up some free ships, maybe. my dude. Well, you have a god tier commander on that. Holy hell, you have a god tier commander on that. But I think doubling his ships will give me the advantage here. Of course, I have been wrong before. My fleet dies. Uh, 20 approval from the oligarchs. Yeah, sure. Okay, yeah, flanking was just too good. Got an early capture, too. Let's get that and let's get our fleet into there. And wait a second. Um, how do I look at characters I've been prison? Characters... Let's just sort by the martial ability. Yep, here we go. Can I recruit? Can only be used on foreign characters. So, we'll conquer Barisha, release him, and that'll give us a god tier, um, martial stat. I don't know, dump on research, I guess. I think the Antigonoids have moved their, um, thing through here yet? Nope. You know, <laughs> as this is going on. I might just try to go for it after this.
Jacuzzi here that we should be able to take that 8k with the mercenaries, right? I don't know. I'm gonna go to the bathroom real quick though. I'll be right back.
Hello? Is that going through now? Okay, whatever. Alright, so... As soon as we win this siege, we'll basically be over. So that's two wine. We won't be able to export too much, but we've got the wine. That wine. So that's two things of wine we can export, which is worth... I don't know however much wine's worth. Point three. So that's a minimum of point six plus our commerce income bonuses, so... Should make quite a bit of bank from that. Take it, you're still there. Yep. statesmanship and regain innovation nice so that's more money we can get now cool um, so we've got gemstones glass is pretty valuable and pretty good but no one's willing to trade it to us how sad so why is it Negative 40, giving the maxes, we'll lose capital bonus. <laughs> Almost tempted to just give them money. Um, spices, no. Damn. Um, dyes and silk, perhaps. No on the silk, no on the dyes. Um, precious metals. You could get a bit of money from that, but I'd rather give something we don't have. Work towards that. Stone's cheap, but construction will help in the future. Yeah, let's go for the stone, I guess. Poor gonna regret that, but I don't think the difference in money will be too vast. Really important. Whenever the siege feels like finishing, I'd appreciate it. Let the looting be gentle. Okay, so... Builds. I said, I think I'm almost tempted to make this place my, um, guard into Greece just because hills and you can't really get past it and into here. I'm alright, we'll uh, take everything. Banisters of class. The leaders let the rest disappear. Banisters of class. Gross expansion reduction. It's cultivating quite a reputation. Cool. Who? I hate these. Alright. Um. Oh. Damn it! But I wanted to keep him. Uh, nothing really. Oh, Nicholas Estremid. Pious. No, oh, give refuge to him. Have the rest crucified. So, I suppose we should sweep up Boetia first. We 
should have like one more thing of wine we can trade out. We'll give it. We're not gonna help out Rome, so yeah. Research speed, which is nice. We still have this for how long? Five more years. Let's see, what will we get from that? That's earthenware. back. That'll probably get us enough money, uh, enough food income. Yeah, these guys are gaining food now. Parisians now make up a nice little minority. So we're going to cancel our military access first. And then we could declare war on the 16th of March, so... We'll just let these people gain a bit more food. Six, so army has high morale than theirs. Yeah, that morale difference. Gotta sit there to make certain they don't raise another army. Uh, there's a lot of things which have happened unscheduled when I play this game. Uh, there's tech invest. I don't want to lose the money, so we're just gonna lose the opinion from the tri approval of the traditionalists. Like, I had one game, my last little playthrough, ended early because Rome took Epirus in, like, the first ten years. Speaking of Rome, they just won a few wars there. How is Rome doing? It's currently at war with Epirus again. Oh, no. Yeah, 
Yeah. I've had um some interesting runs through. Okay, so that's over. Alright, well so much for using that as a distraction. But Mackinon's still in this. Mackinon in Greece. Antigone is still camping an 8k troop here that they could have desperately used over in Asia Minor. And just cock blocking me. As they so love to do. Probably should have probably would have been able to take them with the mercenary band here, but I don't know if expanding in Borussia first is going to be a uh, wise decision. But it's at least helped me get stronger regardless. We have eight months of our mercenaries being loyal. Is that enough? Why are you so bad at <laughs> doing the sieging? Uh, city-state, inspiring soldier, years of food supply, and fortress. I don't know if we'll have the funds to go to war against the Tiganids afterwards. I feel like we're going to be recuperating our, um, our deficit from putting down the mercenaries. We should at least get some money for, um, besieging these settlements, at least. Provided it goes through. Okay. Nope, no siege event there. I don't think we're going to have an opportunity for Magara in this little war. I don't know why the AI, the um, Antigonoid AI really loves putting like 6k troops here. It always does it. Or the 8k troops there. Maybe not always, but it like really loves doing it. That's, that orator sucks. Um, do I have anyone? I really don't have any good orators, do I? Yeah, we have like three months of the mercenaries being loyal right now. Just because they got a really big stack. Maybe I can do to like make their cost go down. Don't think so. I should probably disband these guys. Yeah, I'm going to. As painful as it is, we can't have them, um, they're just going to keep draining our funds and put us further and further into deficit. Because now we're at least making money. I don't actually have anyone to fight, so we're just sieging. So we'll put that down to save a bit more money and get out of deficit faster. Ooh, creeps. Not actually, um... Cortina isn't winning that. Hmm. Uh, let the looting be gentle. And yeah, this will also help us out. Two citizens are killed. Okay, we're not going to kill Affini and Freeman. Hmm. I really don't like killing Pops, period. Yeesh. I don't think we got the main herd that 
cancels out a lot of that. Okay. Some military to spend all levies. Oh yeah, this will give us a bit more money. So how much money are we up to per month now? What? Oh, forts, right. Gara as a fort for now. Uh, how much is that going to keep us down by? We can also fort maintenance reduced. research penalties, but we're nearly at a deficit now. We will dislodge those pirates. Gain some pirate colony. That's over here. What oops is... Where... Oh, wait, no, we don't have those territories yet. Where is Road Oops? Oh, so it is over there. Uh, gains population growth and migration attraction. Yeah, why not? So now we save up again. And maybe invest a bit and then think about expanding. Against the Antigonids. What's their cohorts down to now? Oh, they, I think they just pieced out. Oh, oh. 43. Competing power, we'll get too many relations, support distance, okay. I wonder if the AK is still there. Yes, it is. You know, they just lost most of Phrygia. <laughs> but at least they have secured their Greek territories. Hmm. Still Macedon. Frace had to peace out. I don't know if Frace is still in it. It's just got a revolt going at the same time. Oh! Macadon's finally coming down! Macadon is not going towards that. Macadon, let's just revoke your military access now. And keep you trapped there. <laughs> oh, Macadon, baby girl. I don't think it liked that. I don't think 
think it like that at all. Alright. This little back and forth jostling is going to be hilarious. What is the loyalty of this area? How exciting! Apollina. away. Why couldn't it be more convenient? The last time I got it, it was literally in a territory I was in a war for. Then I'll take the uh, stability. It helps a bit with my bad research ratio right now. I kind of like keeping them prisoner here. It's kind of hilarious. See, if I declared war, I would have to go against a lot of their people who are now no longer at war with the Silicids to distract them. Hmm. You're an ally of Antigonoids as well. Same for the Desotic League. The pirates have sent envoys to cap the established diplomatic relations. Pirates are interested in overtures of cooperation. Clearly, would be willing to work for an exchange for our protection. But the best make use of the pirate skills. Protects the reward for safe for the pirates. And in return, they will protect our trade while forcibly diverting our neighbor's trade ships to our ports. They will share their experience and all experience of the same. Trade ships stop and all before kindly invite. Pirate free state established for five years, local population growth, province commerce plus ten percent. Thing needs a navy? Ooh. Strengthen our navy, I think, is really useful. So that's basically a f that doubled our navy. Disciplined, confident. We really need a better guy here, though. That's what this guy's got, Scholar. Levy's raised. Could have sworn I pressed that button. No, um, the calendar is in the Roman calendar, so date from the founding of Rome. It's currently 295 BCE. 
Uh, off the buy-up is failing at right. See, that's probably worthwhile. We'll make more money. So not. Wow, we've really got no money going on here. Right, so we're just more interested about money here, but I suppose happiness is actually something we should invest in. Um, so olives would be good. Uh, dates would also be pretty good. We had dates in the capital already, right? Don't have dates in the capital. But we could take these just so that we know that no one else will get it. Okay, so it might have been over there that got it. I worry that's still more money. Province loyalty is currently raising. So that's good. Um, we should probably go for cultural simulation. Yeah, that would make that a lot faster. <laughs> and the faster we assimilate the Boetians, the more manpower and troops we'll get. first, actually. Uh, opportunities to expand. We have the Polyponesian Islands. Which, is there any good targets we can take on without relying upon mercenaries? Not really. I mean, we probably have a good chance against Sparta. That's only a too strong alliance blob. But we can't get a... Oh, we could get military access through there. Hmm. It's not fabricating, at least. Because, yeah, they have... 57 integrated pops. So they'll both be at 4. Yeah. So they'll have 4,000 all up. I'll have 4,000. Yep, Carthage is indeed in the game. Carthage is actually one of the strongest powers at the beginning. If Carthage declared war upon Rome while it was small, it would probably be a crushing victory, but the AI seems to be weighted towards doing other things. Which I suppose makes enough sense. Uh, it actually, the map goes all the way from Britain and Lower S Scandinavia, all the way to India. Oop. Salt? Yeah, sure. I'm guessing that's just because our previous person, yeah. We have, like, no slaves here. Yeah, it's actually pretty big for the time period. Like, I understand India, considering Alexander's empire. It, like, rent all the way out here, so they said, you know what, we'll just include India. Allow some stuff to go on there. You, already, you go all the way to the, basically, the start of the Nile down here. Not much in Africa over here, really, though. Uh, all of this is territory that can be colonized if you get there. But, uh, this is, like, the end of the map. There's, like, nothing you can get out here. Although these, um, areas you can't go into, they can spawn barbarians, which can push out and attack you. Same with up here. Barbarians can spawn from here and go raid the rest if you're a civilized nation. So there's argument that there's people there, it's just not a 
what you would consider a modern state in this time period. Yeah, damn those Roman barbarians. <laughs> uh, someone's... Yeah, sure, welcome them. Oh yeah, we got two Freemen. Yeah, we'll welcome those. There's a little bit of a bug here because that army should be at a full route. And that's just gonna keep going forever, I guess. There's been a few bugs with the latest update, but otherwise it's done pretty well. I have a military tech advantage over Sparta, which is why I'm thinking I might try this war. Oh, the tech's up again. Nice. We could... It would weaken our trade, our research and trade a bit, but... We could find a colony. They're already at maximum loyalty. Form Borussia culture against colonial occupation. I don't want to integrate them, I want to assimilate them. Athens against colonial ventures for three years. And Febe will be... Yeah, we'll do that. That does move a lot of people over. Which makes this city a lot larger. God, it did move a lot of Fafidians over. 24. But that'll help the integration happen a bit faster. Well, not integration, assimilation. You can integrate populations or you can assimilate populations in this game. For Borussia, I'm going to go for assimilate. Okay. Anything else I could do to help that go a bit faster right now? Um, cultural integration, no. Uh, I don't really care about the Freeman output. Protection against torture will lose five stability. We get a bit of loyalty. Cultural integration speed, culture happiness. Are we gaining? We're still gaining provincial loyalty, so I don't really think I need to give them any handouts right now. Handouts? I conquered like their entire lands, and I'm like deciding if I should give them rights. Uh, is there any other decisions we could do which can increase the simulation speed? It doesn't look like it. Everything else is integration speed. Oh yeah. Destroy pirates now. Who are you allied to? You're, are you a feudatory of Macadon? Macadon's probably not having a good time right now. It's down to 43. Okay, we're back up to maximum research speed finally. Charge. Well, um, you're gonna want a job then. Which one's these? This, that's Roman power, that's divine sacrifice cost. I'm not gonna divine sacrifice, so I don't feel bad about putting this guy in there. Grab him free hands. And you are actually a pretty good seal. 
scam. Um, I just gave you free hands. How basic country, low faction approval. Damn. Uh, if I had known that there was a more of a disloyal guy here, I would have given it to. Actually, which one? Yeah, who, oh, you're already someone. You're the Dodachos. Alright. I'll just give you free hands and that'll be fine. Now, do I build up more buildings or do I conquer? I think conquering right now. Because the faster I conquer, the faster I assimilate, the faster I get more troop sizes. This dominant culture is not integrated culture. Slave simulating. Oh, that went down a bit. Oh, right, because this guy is not as good as my previous person. So we want a high civic governor archon right now. Which, you look like you'll do just fine. Speaking of... Uh, we need more oratory skill. So 162 is what we need. We're now only at negative 2 per month when we hire the mercenaries. Which is nice. He might actually be able to take on um, the Antigonids with that, provided they're still distracted with Makedon. Don't know where their armies are, but hopefully that just keeps going on forever. The other option is go to war against Sparta. Let's see, what's their leaders? Ooh, mm, that's a spicy leader. What do you think? Should I try to take? Because I could take Sparta. Well, not Sparta. I could take Sparta and Argos's territory here if I declare war on them. Or I could see about conquering. The rest of Attica, which would make me a lot more richer than Sparta. I think we're going to have to rely upon mercenaries either way, so we might go against the Antigonids and try to just re retake um, Attica. Yeah, especially since that's my um, mission tree. And I can get some really nice bonuses for going down the mission tree to retake and restore Attica. It's just a question of, well, the Antigonids here. Who have gotten beaten up a bit. But still... My cat's coughing up a hairball. Uh, I don't want my pops getting converted, so goodbye. Uh, give you free hands. I mean, it's his own fault. He seems like it, he thinks it's a good idea to swallow the hairballs he's coughing up. Well, you guys got big. I haven't seen that before. Etolia and Perusius. We'll save up a bit of money. Um... Probably what? We're gonna be at negative two, two hundred gold, and then we're gonna declare war. Or two hundred gold, and then we'll start because we need to let that mercenary band recover its morale a bit. Speaking of, um. 
I feel like we're gonna need that more. How does that get our money up to? Okay, so now we're. Oh, well. Oh, they just peace out. They just peaced out. Do I want to try taking them on by myself now? Is the question. I feel like that's a bad idea. We should probably wait for them to be at war again. So maybe I'll take Sparta on. See, what's their standing army now? Their standing army is 60 cohorts. Which is... more than we can take on, definitely. How long it will be to the Silicids declare war on them? Uh... 463? If we're lucky, Silicids would declare war on them again. I should have maybe tried a gambit against the 8k of the mercenary stacks, but I just wasn't competent. Confident. Alright, we'll go for research efficiency. Next one will be trade ports for more money. We can get the military access between these two, right? Yes. Well, that weakened them a bit more. So let's raise the Thracian levies. have to bribe my ad actually you no know, get get the fuck off those ships. You have proven you are unworthy of leading our navy. Uh now we need to make his family happy. Um surely he has they have a competent son somewhere. One, two, zero, three. They have a six. Wow, this family is so trash. <sighs> Can I just like expel that family so you don't have to deal with their trashness? Probably gonna want to declare war on these guys next. At least unite the Greek states. Oh, it's not the temple, nobody will miss it. Territory Delphi. Oh, um. We're probably not gonna want to let the Temple of Delphi collapse. What? How do you have two? You only meant to have one. Yeah, um... I... Does that start with two temples? You're only meant to have one temple now, um... It stacks! Its benefits are stacking! 
That's hilarious. Well, if I ever need to convert anyone, I'll just send them to Delphi. Let them just breathe in the fumes. That's the level order. That means we can put him over here. Get our research rate going up a bit more. Nice. So they've got a fort there, and their city is here. So we'll have our levy go in for the city, so that we can get the loot event. And then we'll have our mercenary band just go around slaughtering them. negatives than I thought, just because, yeah. Uh. Well, we slaughtered their troops. How's our levy looking at? A bit banged up, so we'll let the... We'll let the mercenaries do the siege for a bit. Let these people rec recover their manpower. <laughs> Maybe we should just go over the bow and maintenance down, actually. Yeesh. Since we're winning this by sheer numbers, anyway. All right. Can we get some glass? Yes, we can. That'll give us a bit more money and some more civilization value in all of our little provinces. Huh. I swear they must have like some bonuses for it. Or they've integrated Arcadians, which would give them 80. Which is, yeah, that'll be about 7 cohorts, so yeah. Omen Power will give us more money. Now we want to go down to global economic integration so that we get more cultural assimilation speed.
have the food for that? You might. Salt? Yeah, I'm gonna guess we, um, keep losing our salt trading. Alright, we're losing less than one a month now. In short terms, uh, bickering leaves a freak. I am probably gonna deny that just because it gets a bit hard to plan things when I only have two years of each leader. Uh, if Athens gets friends at high places, don't really need it there. It smells like a trap. Got a lot of places have legions early on right now. Nothing changed to you. Still need regional power. I'm curious how that's happening. Maybe an event which can fire? I don't know. It'll be quite nice if we can get rich enough to keep the mercenaries going permanently. Because then we can just snowball with it. So they're allied with Ampharos and they tell me that that's fine. Conquering all of them would be good anyway. Hmm. Did we abandon the siege to defend our levy? Um, outside we have an archer and light infantry versus their two light infantry's trains to our benefit. When's the fight gonna happen? Very future. Can we move away? Yes, we can. We can just get right on the boats. Alright, they're just gonna go siege Athens for a bit. Not ideal, but they won't get Athens down before we get this place down. So we'll just send that army back to smack them. They probably won't, at least. That... <laughs> that army still just loves being in there. Last nine, counted two brutes, bugs on the way. Home... Was life a bit of an escape? Oh, Sconce It's her word against that of. Seize them. Seize her anyway. Put an end to this nonsense. Alright. Yeah, it's not even gonna bother trying to siege Athens. What are you up to in here right now, Antigone? Still at war, Frace. I am going to assimilate the Laconian culture, though. It's a nice manpower pool, and it, I don't know, I kind of like the idea of keeping the Spartan culture as a part of Athens. Just so like, you know, little Spartan subsection. Not to mention we can get Spart Spartan Honor Guards, which just sounds awesome. Okay. Start sieging that now. I 
sanctuary. This needs to get um, food back, actually. We'll get food here, yes. But we might as well take them out, actually. Are you getting any food over there? No. We probably want to keep them in Argos just to deny the Spartan army coming in to stop the siege. We're all getting back food just a lot slower there. No, no, they're still getting free a month. We can blockade Sparta to get a bit more war score. Not that we need it really. Now goes our conversion of this plot. Oops. We... that's not the major place, it's Fapire, right? Yeah. We are now the majority? So that's going pretty fast. It's a shame that you can't, like, spread out, although I could move s Athenian slaves. It just costs money. We nearly got another one there, so we're getting there. Stability has increased. Nice. Pardon? Um. I guess you yeah, have that doesn't count as part of that province. be quite mad if this white piece is out. Marshall advance, nice. We'll go for expressive expansion, deep change. Because the uh, assimilating cultures is really important since it's only your assimilated or integrated pops which count towards your army. This should be nice to have two years to do this. Really? You're lacking in food? Right, um, we'll have this siege come down. This one can, like, move up and just come back down in case, in case there's a battle. Although it is a mercenary stack, I probably don't care about their numbers that much. <sighs> is it going to be the Philead family? Oh, it's the Philead family! God damn, I hate your family so much. Get better people! Okay, you have a 9 civic, that's good. That's actually usable.
coins against the ten, but hey. Well, it's okay, nothing important. Okay. So we'll have you go in here. We'll have you go there. Alright. What if taking this will improve the food situation? Probably not enough. Oh, we're gaining money now. Um, let's do this. Well, if you're leaving, that's even better. Okay, are you gaining food now? Yes, you are. Alright, looks like we have crushed the Spartans. Thanks to the judicial use of massive mercenary stacks. Yep. And as soon as all that pops over, because we control their capital, we can go ahead and do this. Conquest of Sparta! We finally fall to our troops is now in our hands. Sparta was one of the two major actors in the Peloponnesian War, as well as this one of the city-states who struggled against Persian oppression. The Lacedonians are almost mythical for their undeniable war prowess and army strength, despite their minor population numbers. As the Macedonians came to state regional politics, Sparta lost most of its importance in a huge part because of its declining population. With the city under our control, our men and advisors wonder how we should treat our old enemy. There have been people asking for us to sack the city to ground and bring everything valuable back to Athenai. The proud home of the Lacedonians will remain unharmed. Um, pass judgment on their important families. Let's see. You're staying. I don't care too much about you. Are you good natured cruel? No. Man, a lot of these are actually pretty good. Nikias could die. Zephanon. Thank those could die. Um, Andromos is good. To clay is an eight, which is still kind of nice. Oh, he's polymath. Yeah, we'll welcome him. He can die. All right, we've become a regional power. Now culture. There's a lot more Lacedonians than Athenians, but yeah, they're pretty good. So we're going to go allow them to be citizens and we'll give them anything we do want to do to get them more integration speed this will give cultural integration speed ten by nine by ten Right to legal contracts by 10%. I feel like we could, we won't have to worry about it too much. Right, now let's start getting dates at our capital for more money. We'll have these just automatically import on their own. Iron, yep. Our researcher here. Ten, ten. 
I'll Archon. I feel like our Archon would say that he gets to become a uh, great power. Fuck you. Um, yeah, let's go for our Archon. Our Archon gets to be a regional, a great power. A uh, great family. Ten with intelligent, yes please. We've got some good family members out of that. Blackrick family. Okay, what do we have for the Lackrid family? Oh, this works. Okay! Oh yeah, now I gotta take care of all the forts. Three... Yeah, there's nine over here. Okay, so Argos is currently one. Argos, I feel like can stay. That can go. And that can go. That brings us down to three. Yep, okay. situation should be better off now. Tolia and Ampros, yeah. They're allied to Macadon somehow. Destroy pirates, see if we can get something bigger. So they're at war with those three city states, so. We need this place to get its food back up first. You're allied with Aetolia and Ampharos, right. Anything worthwhile for you to import here? You already have olives. Um, keeping out precious metals. How much food are you gaining? Nine? Yeah, that's good enough. So they have no armies up here. Governor of Frace is stubborn, fort defense. Yeah, we'll, we'll put you in charge over there. I haven't integrated their population yet. 
Be your heritage, give me some archers, damn it. Yeah, archers 10%, line infantry 50, 40, 50, I don't know. Probably do something weird with it. I guess I guess it's because I've gone up to 5, so now it's rounding and going, oh yeah, you can have one of those now. What does that put all research down to? Oh, I've still got good research rates. Uh, what's causing our income provinces right now? Problems right now, besides that. I guess because I'm paying for their reinforcements, maybe? Hello there! Where are you going? Refuse the gods, tribute after war. Phoebe gained the library. I don't really care about the libraries all over here. Cut version speed, they're already all converted. The alternative is pissing off the traditionalists. Who yeah, we're not losing much at all. Bribe him, which would stave off the civil war. Where is the province capital here? It's probably right here, so we'll get some free ships out of this, hopefully. We got two ships out of that. You have no forts down here? No forts on the sport over there. Ellis is the provincial capital, so for any luck. take that, but we might have to take that one to do it. You said Andromos. Yeah, it looks like we need, um... We can siege that ourselves, maybe. Ooh, military traditions. Uh, what do you think? Should we go for... The phalanx or the military colonies? It does give us a lot more freemen. Which could help us with culture converting. World armies. Hmm. I feel like going for the phalanx. 
Having the pops also helps a lot. Is that enough food? It's probably not enough food. I suppose we'll find out though. How's the culture integration going? About a quarter of the way there. A third of the way there. Oh, oh no, it doesn't. Um, so this game has a system where, where is it? Tactics? Uh, let me actually go to the armies. So I have different tactics here. I can't see phalanx, but um, because I don't have it yet. But each tactic has an effectiveness against other tactics. So, for example, shock is more effective against development in the Padia Vilia, but it sucks against bottleneck and phalanx. But the phalanx here is weak against a Roman triplex. So if the Romans come at me with their special formation, and I'm in my special formation, they will get a bonus, and I will get a penalty. Oh, what the hell. Well, fortunately they had no manpower. And no morale, I mean. Let's recuperate our numbers over here. Am I at war with them? No, I'm not. I feel like I need to get food back on these guys, but at the same time, I'm just trying to go for the siege. Alright, we got another import route because of our, um... So now we'll cancel one of the dates here. And we will... Oh, they ran out of people. All right, there must have... A citizen of theirs must have migrated over here. That allows us to get dates on our capital, which gives us more commerce income. Where are you going? Shattered retreat all the way into Mackinac, okay. Yeah, only other place I could really think of expanding besides taking some of the little derps around here and consolidating Greece, which I'll definitely do. Actually, now that I realize that Egypt's lost its territory over here, that's really good for me. So that means the only dog Egypt has in Egypt is Andros, which will suck when I want to, like, consolidate that, but... Oh, they've gone comedic. Good on you, Egypt. Okay, I can start sieging that down now. Damn it, no I can't because someone else has got it. Quick, we need to make certain that they can't expand at all from this war. So we'll take there, we'll take there, and we'll take there. And then they can't demand any territory from that war, we'll keep them tiny. And allow us to take all the territory. That food situation is not going good. Is that a level 1? No, it's a level 2, damn. Oh, would we take this? Yeah, okay.
we'll um, we'll siege of those two and move this down so it can get some food. Can't take any territory. It's mine. Ah, damn it. Right, so they might expand a bit. They won't be able to take that. What? What are these people? Rats! Right, they just got off of that siege. Damn it. Well, we have a month and a bit, a month and a half of supplies for this army. Pretty sure that that army is looking okay. God. I'll give it one more chance. And if it doesn't get it on this, we'll move it down to get food back. Two months of food, faith. We lose 18 gold against. Cutting it close, but I really like tech investments. Got a good research right now. Getting food from there? Okay, yes, you are. Losing point seventy seven, so that's like another two months. Sixty six. Using friends to a calf, the fort of Pellet. Okay. Yeah, I'm just trying to get the hang of it again. They just, they basically updated the entire game and changed it a lot. It is very E4-ish, but it's also, ooh, a little bit gentle. Okay. But there are elements of the others. There's a bit of element of Stellaris in the fact that there's a population system. So 
So we'll clean up those little derps next. We'll clean up all of these little derps next. Nice. Yeah, like the citizen rights and or, uh, culture rights and all that. Lacedonians almost integrated, that's cool. That'll increase our military power by like two thirds. There's only one here, right? Yeah. We're now making enough money that we can keep the mercenaries full time, which is great. Just personally, we gain two zeal. Um, yeah, we'll increase the happiness of Mag Megapolis. How's Rome doing right now? What well, the Etruscan revolt happened against Etruscan? That looks like it's going to succeed. They're currently pushing. And they're trying to take over Syracuse. Eh? But the Carthaginians were meant to get involved that that was gonna happen. <laughs> Syracuse is decently strong, but I don't think it's gonna hold off against the Romans. Get back to Sparta to get your food stores growing. Current devotion, more stability, nice, nice. I will have to get some um, investment in Athens soon. Another provincial investment, but that can wait since we need to take. Megara for the rest of that tree. Yes, yes, that's why I'm putting you in Sparta. Don't worry. Oh, God. oh I hate you sometimes, game. <laughs> we might have to white piece out of this war. The situation hasn't changed. Uh, let's. Ooh, cool. Destroy pirates. Might be able to get some free ships out of that. Alright. Oh, aggressive expansion right now. We'll actually hold off on using that invention until after we finish this war. Because we're going to get a good chunk of aggressive expansion from this. Alright, cool. Alright, as soon as we have... Yep, okay, there. Full we'll annex them. It's gonna cost us ten aggressive expansion. We'll lose some of the aggressive expansion by just murdering all of them. But then we'll lose some more. We totally conquered you for liberty, guys. Well, it's not that time yet. The Punic Wars haven't started yet. At least in this game. I don't know if they did start to 2086 BCE. I don't know the specific date. But Carthage is pretty big right now, but Carthage usually loses. Rome gets pretty big by just conquering on a steamroll through Italia. And then Syracuse, and then Carthage just doesn't have the ability to kind of, the AI at least, to keep up. I'm certain if you were a player, you could probably conquer Rome early on while it's still weak. Or otherwise take advantage of defensive terrain over here and take control of the seas to keep Rome from doing anything. But the AI doesn't seem to be quite able to do it. We'll just keep our military raised for now. 
Lacedonia. We'll eventually have people asking for that. We'll import precious metals just to make people happier here and get some money. They'll be happy to give you some wine carpet. So now, culture wise, there are almost as many Lacedonians in our empire as there are Athenians. Which, speaking of, decisions create Lacedonian Honor Guard, which will give us more Freeman output, increase their happiness. Yeah, like it should be happening soon now that Rome's big. Rome's probably going to want to conquer on um, the islands here, or take kick them off of uh, Syrac. Of um, is this the island of Sicily? It's not the island of Sicily. What's it called? That region is just Ma Magna Graecia, because Sicily is like the end of the boot here, from what I remember. Or maybe it is Sicily. I don't. I don't know geography there that well. Okay, I wasn't an idiot. But yeah, Rome should declare war on Carthage soon. And probably curb stomp them. But hey, I could be pleasantly surprised. Oh yeah, any forts here we need to destroy? Yes, over here. God. Um... I don't really like regional forts, so we'll get rid of that one. Brings us down to the six. And we have forts. Again, I don't really like settlement, uh, settlement forts. Level 1 forts barely do anything. Which I suppose I should keep to my word and get rid of that to reduce the price a bit more. I might eventually make, um... Enfidon here a city and make it a military staging port just because it controls all of that, and it's a hill. A marble, olives, yeah. All those trade goods are going to put us in a pretty good spot. You're a feudatory of Macedon, so won't declare war on you just yet. Although soon. Oh. Hmm. But war with Egypt. Take South Phoenicia. Where's South Phoenicia? Is it like right over here? Um, this is war Egypt started. It was for to take South Phoenicia. But where would it? I don't even know where that is. Europa. It should obviously be somewhere that... Ah, here we go. That might give us an opportunity, actually. I feel like we'll actually be able to take, um... We take our province. Finally.
after we're getting food here. Yeah, just not much. Oh, we could get a 12 case levy stack with all of those integrated Greek pops. Should we? Yeah, might as well. So we can't raise for a few months. But that is a much bigger levy now. We will have to take on that Military access actually, because we want to take out that 12 that stack as fast as we can. This time we lose 10 political influence for 6 stability, sure why not. What was that now? I... One more time. Eh. Alright. So our levy here is now huge. So this should be a pretty easily won fight. With any luck they'll be too busy against Egypt to really do much. They have lost a lot of their ships. And this is where we fuck up and this entire run comes to an end. However, they are running pretty fast. Tyranny, so and we can spare the food. That's one risk of doing it like this, though. What 
fort level, it's only fort level one. We could pop off with the 12 stack, yeah, that could fit there. Alright, nah, he doesn't have the, um, manpower yet. It's kind of a shame that they got the Shattered Retreat on that side, but they're not an Attica, so that's nice. Okay, so they're up to 10,000 strong. They've got two, ten... Heavies. Oh wow, you've got another army coming in. Why are all your armies up over here? We really need to head off that army then. Well, they can't come. Ah, oh, damn it. Any luck, they're moving to leave. Those are mercenaries, right. You're not allowed to hire mercenaries, it's my strategy. I have an Opus. So it's six, six. I wonder, do these mercenaries use, use my morale? I'm gonna guess so. Send the Zero Marshal Researcher to a sports competition. Yes. No longer. He's my mercenary captain. Nice. That gives him a bit more... Marshal. Hey, Wolf.
need to get past there. Nope. Oh, this isn't a great war anyway, so they won't take it. They probably won't take it. Occupied by Egypt now. Hopefully Egypt doesn't take it in a war. Because I prefer to have Egypt as an ally, not as an enemy. I suppose we could start taking on the occupation of Megara. Probably would be the best thing to do. Of Cormanidian, some city of Cortez Edmund. God and his other followers, however, leaving them to continue their origin for the country of the Box people. Ten affinity, a shrine to Dionysus will ease these sufferings. Gate blessing of wine. Against my needs. <laughs> Bowen power is nice. Eh, fair enough. Right, we'll just put you in charge there. How's their navy going? It's still going for now. Oh, Civic Researcher died. No! He was so good! Grand Strategy, RTS, and RPGs are usually my big three. I feel like we still want money for now. In particular, I want to get enough money to build a shrine to Demeter. Oh, we're gonna pick up their troops now? Yeah. We can pop our fleet out to get a... Oh, there's no port in corn for us? Alright, oh, never mind. Is there a port over there? There is a port over there. They have 26... I think I have 26 of the smallest boats and 7 of like the next small, so yeah. There would be quite a bit of flanking against me, so I don't think that's a battle I want to take.
can't believe you ran out of food. You were nearly there. You were almost done with the siege. I'm guessing, yeah. Okay, I can't really pop troops around now with the, um, with their fleet so close. Man, do I miss not having those siege adventures right now. It's like he wants to. Freeman. No, we want them. They. God damn, the traditionalists are just being assholes right now. They're like doing things which would fuck over my country entirely. <laughs> Please tell me someone else will get in charge. You are an oligarch, thank fuck. This game of chickens is going to go on for a little bit, isn't it? I don't want to abandon my siege here, so the longer we can keep this game going on, the better. Ooh, breach. Nice. Yeah, maybe you should go take care of your other war against Egypt. Get your men out of here. That's the way to do things. Good boy. Oh, that's level 2 fort. God damn all these level 2 forts. Get back to get some food. get this done, right? Before they do that, right? Eventually, 
Besides, that's for Skyrim, not for this game, Wolf. Hmm. I don't want to lose. Yeah. Uh, well, you know, there wasn't really much hope against Rome in that case. It was just right there. But yeah, I restarted for streaming, at least. Because I thought it would be a bit weird popping into a campaign halfway through. Come on. If I get white piece because I can't... It's a bit of a risk, but I could move my navy out for a siege tick and try to get it. No, their, their navy's right there. We're just going to have to rely on that, you know, 28% chance. Hey, no, no. You, you be a good, loyal little governor. Holy shit, um... Let's see if his military is enough to get another bonus, because we need this before they retake that fort. I need my armies gathered together. Okay, they're moving their fleet away. This helps me. There we go. Oh man, this is going to be a tough fight. Especially if they send that stack in. At least Egypt's gonna have some fun, you know, completely unopposed. God, their capital is siege because they're dealing with me over Egypt. Ooh. Hello there. Okay, to arrive on the 5th of March. 6th of March, 8th of March. Three way. Alright, on the 7th of March. Okay, so we want to wait one more day. So that'll arrive on the 8th, that'll arrive on the 8th. You will arrive on the 7th. Oh shit, I forgot about my troops. My fleet. It looks like I gained more than I lost there. Whew, thank fuck for military technology. Last unit's really holding on there. As insisted on 
formal uniform regulations for you, so run every one usually appears to be having a positive effect. Okay. Ow! We lost 9,500 9, troops. A lot of those would have been our mercenaries. That's all Levy up to. Man, all of our troops just got smacked by that. Well, you're still large enough to siege Corin first, at least. Oh, it occurs to me that, um... Yeah, actually. That's where they're shattered retreating to. I should win just because they have no morale, but I don't trust that. a lot about managing trade routes and your buildings and investments like manufactories when you just start putting those out you usually will always start just seeing your profits explode uh this game most of it is passive and trading as, soon, as long as you're trading and investing in trading you'll probably be pretty okay the buildings aren't as impactful at least in the early game What is something to be mindful for, however, is your levies are linked to your pops, so if enough of your levies die, you will lose a pop. Which means you can literally grind a, pop, a country down to zero people. Maybe this is just like a thing. He is actually a skilled orator, so... Yeah, I'll give it to him. Okay, they're not at war with Egypt anymore. Both of the obviously infatuated with the Archon and returned. They competed in their attempts to get his attention by the advice of Dr. Smiles, so just pose. Naturally, he welcomes their advances. Their choosing one of the year might bring consequences. Um, 444. Let's go for Phileas. It's irresistible. Mind you, if he's having trouble with E4's economy, I feel like Vicky 2's economy would ruin him. Also, when you're feeling like it, Wolf, do you mind making me a cup of coffee? Quite a doing the efforts of the rival. Faith, conflict drives innovation! But I don't want them to have a wall. We go, we go on the attack. Uh, training camp. Hmm. Yeah, we'll let them have a training camp. I'm not sure how I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do with Boetia. I'm in the middle of something, Wolf, and you love me, so you're going to go make it, aren't you?
They do now. Yeah, well, they drink half of coffee. Ah, oh, damn it. Alright, if they're gonna siege that, um, I could take Megara. No, he won't even let me have Megara. I'm gonna have to unsiege that. Oh, Egypt actually took that island. You fucking kidding me? <sighs> Egypt. Of all the things you wanted to take... Wow, you just basically took everything you got your little grubby hands on. <sighs> I want Egypt to be my friend so badly. Like, I have so many trade investments with them, but they just want to constantly piss me off by taking territory in Greece. And the AI is not very good about saying, Oh, um, here, I'll sell this to you. That's going to give me quite a bit of war score down. Only minus five now, since I have splurged a bit, at least. And you should be able to cross that now. There's a fleet here. Uh, whatever. Are you done with that sea jet? Okay, so they can't cross to Athens, at least. That's just one of the... Okay, so we'll put you down there since so that's just the level one fort. You're not at war with me. Yes, you are at war with me. Okay. It's only ten troops, though. Did you really just land on my troops? Thanks for the follow, sign up. You're really going to siege my little territory there. I hate you so much right now, Antigonids. I hate you so much. Yeah, you need to go reinforce that if you want to siege that now. There we go.
Okay, now you'll peace out from Agara. You won't peace out for that yet, though. I don't know how much I'll be able to gain. I'm really annoyed about not having the Agena Isle right now. I don't need it for my mission tree, but it's less, it's it's part of my it's part of my core region. I've had it happen that Egypt will just use so much troops from the little Greek derp that the colony will literally be depopulated. So I could always hope for that, which would suck, but I wouldn't have to declare war on them for the territory. Corinthos, eh? Speaking of places that they've depopulated. This island is now uninhabited. There goes their army. <laughs> then there goes their mercenaries. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. Oh, am I gonna lose that battle? Oh, they got like... that's For some reason, that's their levy, the legion that they have early. I want... I don't want those. Can I... 92... This unit can...
do, we should probably start moving towards legions ourselves now. Hmm. You'd get it easily without that. Gonna have to push them off of that first. That's the mercenary, isn't it? No, it's Governor Phrase. Yeah, we'll smack them off of there. Or purse to Andros. I probably want to do that before anyone else comes over, but I'm going to be paranoid if they, like, send an army there and smack and uh, just take the pop. Are you really going to siege that? You fucking asshole. You cheeky little asshole. And yeah, that's when this is when the heavy troops get involved. Gonna just take care of these assholes. Really, I didn't get there in time to stop them from taking a pop. in more troops. Oh, that's a revolt. Really? They revolted, so I can't even take them in this peace treaty. So if I go take the islands myself, it should be good. Where are these going to shatter retreat to? Let's send the 74-year-old to the Olympics. They spot. They got a free wall. You fucking kidding me? Yeah, they're probably gonna go all the way down over there. Which means if I want. This Merc band's been so beat up. Uh, 
Egypt is at war. Tis That's right, you get the fuck off my island. Why are you there, of all things? Uh, this is gonna suck for my manpower a bit more. For my lack of it. This revolt really, really came at the worst possible time. I'm just saying that. Come on, one Chad Mercy of <laughs> Heavy Infantry. Alright, I'm just gonna have to peace out without those islands. That that rebel stack really, really hurt me hard. That's just RNG fucking me, I guess. Not a bad peace deal, and I'll just go to war for the rest for Nessa uh, for the uh, Naxos and the rest of the Nessotic Islands. I just fuck them. They deserve that. Uh, guilt to the Fina. Okay. Attica for Athens. God, I can't believe this. Like, I could have had those islands as well, but no, they, and only those islands, had to split off into a rebellion. Yeah, there's only like an event that allows you to do it. Okay, so I'm probably going to make my fort over here. So this probably doesn't need a fort. It's planes too, so... Yeah. So Andros doesn't have Andros anymore, because Andros is a, po is a country of one po of free pops. Holy hell. And they immediately want earthenware from me. No. Uh, developing the land? Sure. Now, before some random cunt beats me to it this time, dedicate a holy site to Demeter. Nice. And we have... Oh, wow. The statue of Asclepius. Got a medicine. I have something that gives me off the simulation speed. Ooh. Where's Amphimphos? Where's Amphimphos? Uh... Right. Because, yeah, now our population growth from Demeter is improved. Pretty much. Um, 
It's close enough. We'll put that there for now. We'll put another holy site there later. Can we get some more stone? Yes, we can. Okay, apparently one of the... And this is a bit of a bug, which is annoying. Because one of the people I conquered has a character imprisoned overseas, I now get the penalty for it. Which is reducing my stability by, like... Point... Where is it? Prisoners in four lands, point oh five. Debauchery in Terraria. Okay, so... Spoil of ill. God. My levies were just got their shit kicked out of them. Oh, and I can't disband my levies because I'm at war with these fucking rebels! It's okay. Uh, offense gains all of blessing, state religion happiness, omen power, Lypris, Lyprion, Laprion. I can't disband levies while in war, is the issue. And because there's a currently a Yeah, I have no idea why that's a thing, but it's probably to just prevent some exploit, I guess. Uh, so much, therefore, we thank her for a blessing. But yeah, like, there were civil wars, and the fact that other people can get dragged into them, it's very much an annoyance thing. Because despite the fact that I'm going to win the siege here, that doesn't mean that I get it. No, no, it just immediately ends the Civil War and these guys get their territory back. Even if I had declared for that territory against a, a revolt. Oh, didn't do it there. Maybe I will be able to claim it. Or it'll probably switch as soon as this, um... As soon as I take this territory. I'm gonna ult F4 if it doesn't let me keep it, but it probably won't. Because at least I could just take that territory. Yep. Immediately pieces out and goes to them. It's very stupid, and I really wish they'd fixed that part of it. But yeah, I can get one of the two islands at least. Hey, I said that ahead of time, and I was more just showing off how dumb the Civil War revolts are when you're a third party. Because I knew what was going to happen. I called it. <laughs> ah, well, hello, Foxstream. It is I. It is Rajan. Huh? Aren't you all, all happy to have some proper entertainment back today? Oh, yes. Let's see. Obviously speaking, Fox would be going after various points. Look at this man up here with his sheep. Fucking, he's like, haha, look at all these little sons of bitches get drafted to war. What fucking losers. Just hide in the mountains when they come on by. Yeah, see, this man knows what the fuck's up. That's why he's got a bitchin' hat and flops over the front. Only, only some true men would have that going on. You know, it's hell. He's not even really doing some work. He's just enjoying the entertainment. He's got this fucking cut down here. This guy. This is the one. Which freak is actually doing the work. 
He doesn't even need the sheep up the up the hill. He's just telling him, carry him up. <laughs> He's just doing it for some entertainment, nothing else. God, what a freaking loser. He knows he got stuck in it. Oh, someone being kicked off. I want it stated that from what that sounded like in the bathroom, it sounded like you were doing creepy whispering. You were uh, talking about people's hats, I heard. Okay. So, we'll get one island. Annoyingly. We should have had both. Oh, wait. It'll let me have both of them now. I don't know, I'm not going to complain. That should have been mine anyway. Okay, so what's our research rate? Not that good right now. Probably not much better when I undo that. One thing about levies though is, well, when you disband them, or their experience gives you military tradition. Right, heavy infantry offense, and we get phalanx tactics now. So what's our research rate now? Okay, now we're at maximum. I don't want to move pops, I want to view pop info. So we're still mostly Boishi in here. We can fix that by adding a grand theater. It wants to give us some provincial loyalty. How about Febe? How's our, um... Athenian, yeah, like forty-one percent Athenian. A bit more when that goes through. Chip to put iron. Yep, we will allow that. Okay, so we want to get a mine there so that we can do the next part of our mission tree. The Attican Minerals, which will give us an extra two iron because we switched this province to produce iron with the Illyrian Ironworks. And we'll get some more commerce routes going in our capital. Mind you, we should probably build the theater in our own capital, because, you know, enough people have moved here. <laughs> oh, moved. I mean, be captured in battle and turned into slaves. Okay, so... So that'll be about an 8,000 strong force. The mercenary band needs to be built up a bit more to take that on. And we are working towards cohorts now, so that we can get legions. Um... Oh, my senate is currently hating me. Might have something to do with me telling the traditionalists that they suck all the time. Let's see... Don't have the goal, but that might be a thing to do. Should probably also move this guy over to a Democrat. I want to keep you there, but we can move him over there. Go destroy pirates with you. See, this conference is mostly Bowians. Their loyalty is currently decreasing. More than likely due to all the unrest, yeah. 
So we'll give them local autonomy for now. That'll take care of the unrest issues. The Archaeans over here, we're going to put that on cultural conversion. We've got to teach them how to be good Athenians. Um, anything else valuable we can import? Dyes? Yeah, we can get a bit of dye. These guys are also pretty happy, so we'll just have that slowly tick over. Arcadians over here, also pretty loyal. Yeah, that's already a cultural conversion. Laconia, that can remain mostly Lacedonian. Oh, sweet. Thanks for the money. Thanks for the money, dummy. Yeah, I guess we'll put a food there, since that's nearly at the next one. How's Rome going? You declared war on Carthage or Carthage on you yet? Does not look it. Carthage, what are you doing? You're at war with Massalia. Ah, actually that'll make you pretty strong if you conquer all of that Carthage. Different religion, between relations. We should probably start importing wood and actually building an extra port there, thinking of it. I feel like we might actually be best rewarded now for... Like, I know we should clean up these guys. But I have feel like we should just start importing, um... Not importing. Start investing money. Well, actually, no, we want to take over Crete. Crete would be pretty important to have. They have a fleet of six. Rhodes has a fleet of five. They're probably going to have around about 12. We might want our legions to take on Crete. Do I have to? How much is Egypt going to want for you? You're not even that good. Could you just die for me? Uh, damn. Ransom yourself! You have the money! Take him. Obsessive chase military. Traditionalists are still in power. A lot of people hate you. You have ten oratory power. Government, um...
P Philistrad. Does he already have a job? No? Oh, seven. That makes him loyal. You would already job? Okay, civil war averted. More money, please. And more commerce routes, please. Okay, so we need more buildings in Athens. Yeah, those are Macedonian feudatories. I definitely want a legion before I go against Macedon. That's also allied to Macedon. So it would basically be those three there. Aggressive spent. Our war exhaustion is pretty damn high, though. That's something we need to kind of be concerned about. Tyrannical? Not really. Exactly. Uh, we can't fabricate claims because our Senate hates us. And I'll say it will probably keep hating us because the traditionalists want us to strip like a f two thirds of our population of their rights. Yeah. Like, I'm sorry, the Lacedonians stay with their citizenship because I need them for my military. <laughs> Economy, we can put the army maintenance down. Put fort maintenance down too. Nah, there is a dictatorship path, but I kind of want to go the Athenian Republic. Alright, um. Can we actually get some dyes ourselves? No. We have dates, we have stone. There's nothing here to give, so Freeman could use some more happiness. Wine would be useful soon. So we'll start importing some wine. wine. Nobles aren't exactly happy either, but oh well. Then, just more import routes, please. Okay, someone murdered you. Special ventures, yeah, murder. Was found brutally murdered his home. That a convenient battering ram was used in the crime. <laughs> A device of known to be favored by Lysidria Laracad. You don't have any 
that? Okay. It's no risk to me if you uh, hate me. Let's go for the one that actually has a chance of giving me innovation. All oh, right, yeah, your family member doesn't like that. Oh, fortunately. Now we have more military manpower. Listen, could... I can't even ransom her back because the Senate disapproves of that. <laughs> oh, my. Should probably save up the 100 gold just to do that. Please. But there's no proof. Such a good plan to seize the premiership for himself and his cronies. He's a Democrat. Was it man at once? Well, hopefully this doesn't kick off early like it did one time. Attican Minerals. Now we have even more stuff here, which is nice. Friendship. If they want to gossip, the capital's been left for days. Remember, dismayed by the ease of which seems to gather the support of individual backers, just horrified. So we should turn the people against Lachius. Does it just want to keep his job? <laughs> yeah, you are. And it's groveling at the Greeks. Yeah, yeah. Reported that the people of Sphesta and Rodopi have taken to cause Lacrius to might win them over. Against ten. Who's transforming the plot by a small amount? Can I get some more wine? Yes. That'll give our leeches a discounted maintenance when we raise them. Okay. The only ones for his head this time been rumors that Icarus seeks direct support of prominent officers of the military to back his plot with spear and shield. The Republic relies on its soldiery for defense, any partnership with the ranks is generally unheard of. However, Lacus clearly lacks the scruples of our politicians which be dealt with without scruples accordingly, though at what cost? We could settle the more rowdy veterans. These are 10 military experience. Stano and farmlands were moved from Athens. This province only gets spawned. Bex. They must outbid for the loyalty of the troops. Cut gains made by the oligarchs. I don't really care about the local tax that much, so. Save the gold. Basic training. Active drill. And the next innovation we get, we can get our own legion. 
the own proper legion, not the mercenaries we've been abusing for like the last few decades. Uh, okay. Shown his true colors, but he's facing in front of the crowds gathered at the forum, with much waving his arms and appeals to justice. He promises inconceivable reforms and benefits to masses, but many sneers are barely veiled for effort to gather support for his leadership and the eventual takeover of Athens. Do the real benefactors of, but it's too late. Bread and games for all. Gains 10 approval from Democrats, I could use that. To help counter gains. But the Republic! Like her is Laracad. He reduces popularity, that might actually be more important right now. Although my own not popularity kinda sucks. Let's go for But the Republic. Let's get some approval from the traditionalists too. And hopefully they won't ask to remove the Spartans of their citizenship again. Because so I can get four, a 14 strong legion as soon as I get the um, law and manpower for it. Foot does an Akotros have more honor? If so, should the hidden goods be allowed? So, as soon as. You know, cities mm, reduces commerce cost income. Yeah, we need to make certain we don't get a um asshole in charge. <sighs> I fucking hate these RNG events. Pick every option to help me, still fail. Soldiers lord to the true patriots from the streets of Aphanai. My apologies for the petition forum is warming any who oppose the newly established Glorious 200. Adopts the oligarchic republic form. Oh my, would you look at that squirrel? I do have a few problems with the RNG in this game, mostly just that. Like, the trials? You start the trial, you at least know you have the RNG chance. That random event just happens sometimes. As said, took every option to help me, even ones that were special because I had high charisma. Or other effects. Still not enough. Karis Lerkan, what faction are you a part of anyway? You're a Democrat. Oh, that's me. Right. Um, let's try to get your popularity up in Athens. Who was the person trying to refer me again? Let's see, you're an oligarch. Ooh, it's 12 Civic, actually. Okay. 
Oh wow, how bad off are you? Eh, ten zeal's not too bad. Okay, hopefully that'll help a bit. Just purchase wealth connections and support the cause of liberty. So it's Lacarus, no? Most welcome. Okay, I argue that we must not allow this situation like us to develop an opposed from sexual matters to be on the control for good and confront them immediately. Support the managed to gain across half of but we have a fairly good idea how we can miscalculate every sort of a civil war. 69% chance of success. There's War of Athens. Cut Laracris and Lacris. Lacarus, Lacarus. It's basically just my own Archon being this asshole. It's what it seems to be. I feel like this is a bit buggy. Confront the oligarchs. Explore like this from the side of the center. The absence is quickly prepared, and we have now learned that their houses will be deserted for some days. Fled to their friends in the Sulacid Empire, presumably realizing they had no chance to successfully overwhelm the government of Athens. Um, did I just banish myself? Yes. So the event was also buggy. Uh, the Democrats are no longer in ch No, never mind, the traditionalists are still in charge. Next one's an oligarch, at least, finally. So many ward cities do they have? They have a ward city there, there... Yeah, that's, there's a few buggy events like that, which are a bit silly. I suppose we could just use our mercs to, um... Oh wait, no, we still have uh, low party approval. Right, I forgot about that. I forgot about that whole pesky democracy thing. Not really, it would just be an oligarchic republic. Which, fuck that. So we have that traditionalist dominate. Mostly just have to like wait and hope the de uh, the traditionalists don't try to strip people of their rights again. You can strip the other cultures of their rights, just not the Lacedonians. I need to 
get all of those buildings built so that I can then go down the mysteries and the academy. Let's see, we'll send the 50 year old. Prisoner thing. You'll be welcome in Athens, size 10. Yeah, much 10. We'll keep them. There we go. For freedom. Okay, professional training. I just need to get down to here. Yeah, we're gonna have to wait a bit unless we want to take a fuck ton of um. Well, I mean, the Democrats already hate us. So. What if they hate us a bit more? It doesn't really matter too much. Okay. We can now start constructing legions. Which means... This will put us into deficit a bit. But I think we need to start building our own, um... Army. This isn't really that intense. But Imperator does have a bit more micro than other games. Uh, okay, so... We lost five stability. That's hardly a... That's not hardly the worst thing we could have done. Can I get an alliance of Egypt yet? No. Ah, how's that going for you? I'd like the 25 ducats required. Well, I'll have that next month. Oh, I lost like three levies for my strength for some reason. Oh, really? You got... You couldn't even give me good commanders in there? I'll get that nine's okay. There's our legion. Let's get some heavy infantry in there. Legion dedication. Give them a donkey so that they don't starve. How's Rome doing? Rome is doing pretty good. 1620 is still not more powerful than Carthage. But I feel like their bonuses would allow them to still win against Carthage. Right, Phalanx fighting. What's that bonuses against shock? Cavalry skirmish. We lose against the triplet. Yeah. As I was saying, Phalanx gets penalties against the triplet aces. A. Assis? How are we meant to pronounce that? 
But it is good against shock, it's good against cavalry skirmish, it's not as good against development. Alright, so we want... Its effectiveness is... Heavy infantry, light cavalry, light infantry. Heavy cavalry, not too good with it, though. But we'll be using quite a bit of heavy cavalry, so oh well. What else can we add? Um, I want to add an engineer. Distinctly, I want to add an engineer. The ratio, I think, I... I don't know if it's the best ratio, but the one I've been using is for every 10 cohorts, one support and one engineer. Because I think you need one engineer for every 10 cohorts to do to negate river crossing penalties. Display... Alright, integrated culture happiness. I know I should also be building buildings in Athens rather than incre and building up a legion, but I feel like having my legions will help my uh, nonsense, fearless, honesty, lose ten approval, ten approval from traditionalist. Traditionalists are in charge, and we can afford to lose the oligarch approval. Especially because we're still- oh, we're only used to losing slightly due to Grateful Families. Not really much I can do to help the Democrats be happier. Except for maybe advocate legal reforms, but I need manpower for that. I'm currently using my manpower on building a Legion. Alright, so Legions. We can get... How many more people? Five more. Probably gonna want... Good heavy cav. Light cav, maybe. Well, we can't save up any more money for that right now, so we'll just let that sit for a bit. Let our manpower build up a bit more. Then invest in some more stuff in here. Like a port! Okay, why is someone defend- oh yeah, because, right. The Legion's commanders also count as job positions now. Well, you suck as commander anyway. See, now why wasn't this guy made the leader of my fucking Legion? Tactically inflexible sucks, but like this guy? Yeah, this guy's good. This guy's really good. Um, let's say with that guy, but that guy's currently giving me a lot of military expertise. Uh, you're an oligarch. You're a democrat, but you suck pretty horrendously. Okay, now the Philead family's pissed off. Do you have anyone? And demonstrants can lose a... lose a thing. Man, your people are not that good. Um... I feel like we just... 
keep these guys... Oh, they're my own family, too. My current Archon's family. And they still suck! Holy shit, they suck so bad! I think it's not too bad. Um... The demonstrants can lose one. Uh, okay, that brings us down to only needing one more. Oh, he's more of a... Alright. And... Try to put the last one. Do you even have a spot that's good for them? No, no. Honestly, I feel like we're just gonna have to deal with a disloyal family for a bit. Alright, well my fleets are currently disloyal. Because of this Admiral. Okay. Place him. That's much better line up for our Legion. Brings us to ten. Okay. We'll put the heavy cav against the archers we'll probably be fighting. The yeah, light cavalry on the sides. Not Athens, Kings, friends in high places. Change governor cost. Don't really need it. Let's see, so that's. Hmm. We could probably, as soon as our Senate approval goes to all this legion, should be able to take on. those guys. More commercial. More money, please. We're at max tech rate. God, you really need better people. Would you just kill that fuck for me? Egypt, do me this one favor! Kill him! He's not even my person! I just kinda got inherited him! He means nothing to me! Stone... No, I'll stone! Okay, we got to start back. Alright. Maxed out our Legion now, for now. As we culture convert and get more cultures in Greece, though, we'll be able to get a better, um, a larger Legion. Which, speaking of... We could integrate the Aetolians, but I think I'll just focus on culture converting them. And to that end, we need to save up money to build um, theaters. Because, yeah, 
my capital is only 70% Athenian because of all of my slaves. Miraculous recovery. Curious. Yeah, we're not actually converting that fast either, just because... Yeah, not really doing anything to help it along. Ah, oh, here we go. Time and opportunities... Eh. Legion maintenance cost would be nice, but there's some more research I want to get. Hopefully rule of popularity will also help me. Oh, right, no! The reason why my legion's smaller is because I changed my military law. So rather than getting 5% bonus population ratio to levies, I'm now only getting 2.5%. The priest will be left alone. Yeah, I love that research speed. My stability will slowly improve. God, you guys are trash. Like, it's just been a family of mostly imbeciles for as long as I can remember. Alright. So let's focus on building up Athens while we wait for our Senate tick to improve. Oh, we could declare war now, actually. Jeez, these I have, the yeah. L. So it'll be like two, four, six, eight K though. Hmm. And we would have around about seven point five K. We'll smash one of the armies early, so we could probably do it. Two twenty-five to build. Ow. Alright, building costs are larger because I've now become a regional power. I kinda need you under my approval, under my control, if I want to go to war. Deceitful, character, culture, happiness. Yeah, because you became a head of a family, didn't you? Send my Strategos. He's more than likely going to win. Oh, wow, yeah. Didn't really give me much good options there, did you? Can't give you too much because I don't have a bribe ready. Um, can't just ostracize you. I think we just wait till the next election and hope that he's not as pissed off against that guy. Alright, we can finally build the Grand Theater there at least. Oh man, my also strategist didn't even win. Uh, 
and you should be back at the end of next month. Yeah, we'll do what we can. Province of Atelia gains 10 loyalty. We'll move to territories neighboring Boeotia. Only gains shortage east for 20 months. That's for a blessing for Demeter. Yeah, let's relocate some of the population closer to our empire. We've got cultural assimilation going here a bit faster anyway. You! Are oh, you... You are still pissed off at this guy. Holy hell. Bribe, though. Thank fuck. Let's get you off of that. You have no power base. You're perfect. You're a fleet commander. Thank you. Okay. Alright, so we have... You have no power. You've got 29, 2, 5, 30. Okay, you have 7 or you should 6 seal. You might be useful. Okay. Where'd my awesome strategic dress go? Don't know. Do you have seven six Philistrad? Okay, you now like me. Sweet. Uh, the demonstrants now just want a... I could probably put one of them in a Legion Commander role. They've been pretty good so far. Yeah, and they've got this 9 guy. Now, the Philistrids are a bit pissed off. And who do they have? Actually, what is my government right now? It's still traditionalist. You're a Democrat. Okay, so the demonstrators just need someone to be fired and replaced. Got it. Because of that bug. There we go! All of you guys are happy now. Democrats hate it, but oh well. So I'll pop. I'll set it approval has gone down again, unfortunately. But we're gaining with the largest faction. Can we please have the oligarchs take control? They don't want something that will... Oh, uh, right now you just want investment. That's... That's okay. State infrastructure... Not the best investment, but... It's okay. Just want to get some more influence going. Yeah, we got an extra legion going. Uh, extra legionnaire. Nice. Never mind. We had it for like a second. Let's get a level 2 fort on our capital. What do we need for a surplus? Every nine. We could literally move free pops over and get more money. Let's 
could be an idea. We have Athenian still in the majority. Getting a Lacedonian noble over here, huh? That's odd since Lacedonians don't have noble rights. Oh well. Mauritian, Athenian. Yeah, that's being a bit slower. Oh no. Ramos. Well, let's get Stonehenge. Actually, let's not make a big thing of it. Stonehenge, where a man's a man. I wasn't joking, we now have Stonehenge. Oh, a Stonehenge. Okay, so you don't have a job, you're the head of family, you're eight civic, okay, that I can work with. You are neither of you head of the family. Okay, now the Philistrids are pissed off. Really not much I can do. You guys want a lot of jobs. Like, I can put that guy in charge, but he doesn't have scholars, so... Although this guy's about to die anyway. Well, I mean... They just appreciate me a bit more having a scorn person. Right. Let's get a cheek. Let's get that cheeky guy in there. Taiki out of followers is appreciated. Ooh, I'm gonna go into debt a bit for this. Culture happiness. Oh, let's hope we don't get any bad deficit events. But the cult of Taiki usually tightening the strings. Damn it. That's the worst run. Oh, that was only just minus research points, wasn't it? Second worst run, but still pretty bad. We could like negate it with Fafina when that comes off cooldown though. We'll just be making slightly less money because of it. Money 6k, 8k, we basically equal the number. So yeah, like any moment now, we could probably start it. It's just to set an influence again. Yeah. Just this an output. This will probably hurt our technology a bit more. But it'll keep these guys from getting too pissed off. Uh, I really don't want to remove anyone else off their jobs. Oh, my awesome legate now has cancer. Uh, let's help him retire. Put the 12 in charge. Let's 
see, you don't even have a good guy, do you? None of the families have an extra job, but we'll just have to eat that disapproval, I guess. Yeah, we could have you hunt on destroying pirates for we wait. I'm not spending 150 gold on someone I don't even know. What is up with Greece? What did you do to lose your population? What war were you in? Oh, we got a free territory. Culture conversion, uh, it's not gonna like me too much. It'll be fine. So we do want investments, a state infrastructure. So also we will take good care of you. That's not even the one I want. Like, I need Egypt to like lose this territory. I need these guys to like die. Preferably. And Argos, we should probably put a grand theater in there. That'll help with converting, and it'll keep them loyal. That'll keep this little area loyal. Is he, uh... There's, like, three Athenians in here? How expensive, tyranny-wise, would this be to declare war? We can take the civil war. Well, not the civil war, but I mean, you know what I mean. Because it'll be two, four, six, eight. We'll basically meet that with our legion and one levy, and our legions will crush them. Let's make sure we make the most of these myths. Army movement speed and local tax. Especially with that now, yeah. So let's raise our Thracian levy. Let's bribe our governor so that we can raise his levy. Bribe, give him free hands. Heraclius is Heraclius. Poor Heraclius. Take Achaia or take Arcadia. This is a pretty cool looking Athens so far though. Eventually, we'll have all of Greece. So, you have a fort. 
Okay, you have a fort there, though. But it's... Died after defeating the Persians, he would have died the happiest and most glorious emperor of Rome since Augustus, or one of the five great emperors. But instead, the poor bastard had to see the event of 640, 634. Right. Okay, so we'll declare war. We'll, take, we'll bite a bit of the um, stability increase. Alright, so you will go there. We'll wipe out this stat. Yeah, that's just... This is gonna be a slaughter. Oh! Thanks for the follow! Darius Decimate! Oh, that's... Okay, so we'll leave those guys to do that, and now we'll just take a legion up here and keep crushing their army. Armies. Did you occupy that already? You asshole! Okay. Right, because that's a fort there, isn't it? Yeah. Hey there! Let's get back to this battle we're having. Carthage, I am always happy to give you shit. Same with you. Random person, I didn't even check to see what power you were. Smash this army. You know what, it's just... You don't even need it, but I just want to make certain they die. Yeah, yeah. 500 troops of ours died for 1,200 of theirs. Now that should start on sieging now. now we're on the way in a jovial mood. Approached our constructs to the formal declaration of his loyal and commitment to the Ecclesia would be a fine way of showing our appreciation. We lose 10 stability, which we are a bit low on. I think we want more stability than we want political influence right now. That's probably a mistake, but... Why isn't that unseaging? Odd. Oh, a researcher died. God damn it. That was actually a pretty good one. Ah, uh, this allows us to fire a demonstrant somewhere else and perhaps put a filiad in charge. Do we have any demonstrants we don't mind losing? Does not look it. Because, yeah. Well, 8 versus... Yeah, we're not losing a 12. The Philians just continue to be absolutely worthless as a family. Where do you think you're going?
<laughs> Get fucked. Oh. God, I love when you get legions in this game. Stack white. What's their food doing? They're doing pretty alright. Send you. Actually, you should probably make certain they can't cross there. Oh, nice. We're getting even more discipline from Athena right now. More research rate. Nice. And. I guess we go to level 3. Oh, holy hell, all Ford infrastructure here. What what happened? How long have we been having that for? Ow. Ow, 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 ow. That would be 4, so we have another fort somewhere else. So Megara? Megara still has the support. That could go. How much money did that cost me? Like, free gold a, day, a month. Oh. Corinne first, we should probably start reinforcing, too. As our little choke point. Yeah, shitloads of money was how much I lost that there. But hey, Athens will be quite difficult to siege as a level 3 fort. Because, yeah, without any siege engineer bonuses from technology, it would take... It would be like a 15% chance of falling at max siege. Which is insanely low. Oh, great. And this is what I get for not having allies. It's probably not that bad, but we're probably going to want to save up for that mercenary band now. So we want to wrap up this war and then prepare to go to war against... Where's my fleet? Over here. I need 162 gold. I'll get that in a few months. Actually, what is the Phrygian fleet like right now? 19 ships, actually. We could probably take that. Because, yeah, I'm at Militech 3, 6, yeah. So we should actually be able to take on Phrygia. All of their allies, however, maybe not so much. We'll see. What are they even declaring it for, anyway? Take your boat. Yeah, they want that territory back. I can't afford to lose money right now. Which is, of course, why it gives me an event which makes me lose money. Actually, yeah, we want to take down their army over there. Let's let that get a bit of food. And actually, you know what? To make this war even better, 
Like, I know that you used up all of our money, but I think getting that fleet will pay off a lot more. You're going to... Yeah, man, Tia. Oh, I can't move off of here anyway. Oh, well. Because if we prevent them from landing, we win. Egypt still doesn't want to be our friend. I think we can take that army, that fleet I should say. 11-8, 11-5, we're three ships short, but our military tech advantage is fantastic. So, this is a bit risky. Ooh, our morale is, yeah, okay, never mind, that, that was a mistake, that was a mistake. We didn't lose any ships, though. Oh, took a chance. Arrows, he attempted to rally nearby ships to his aid. Fate is cruel. Well, he lived. Can we get a better ship commander? Not really. God damn it, it didn't... Oh, I'm winning that battle anyway. No, I'm not. Alright. Retreat down to Sparta. Temper Cloud. Will that rebuild? And with the extra ships I'm making, that should make that a bit better. Scorned family, yes, yes, get some better people. If you had some actual competent people, I'd probably feel better about giving you jobs. But your family members suck. Like, no statesmanship. To a sold as weak versus close ranks. Once that second ship gets in, we'll be able to take on the um, Antigonid's navy, I think. You dare approach me? Me? Yeah, that uh, that siege is going great. I love having my own legion over using those mercenaries. Even if those mercenaries are nice for their numbers.
Nessiotic League did join in. But I don't think it's loyal, so it's just keeping its territory and it's... Yeah, why did you even try that? There's desperation and then there's desperation! Now, uh, oh, well, unless this takes like two years at max siege. I sometimes win. Yeah. Yep, there we go. Siege is won. So this should come sieging down with it. Okay, yeah, if the two extra ships there, I think my um, fleet's going to manage it just fine. No, my god tier civic guy! <sighs> oh well. The office and I'll rule a glorious nation. Well, it's about time we had a decent demonstrator in power. Is he a traditional? He's still a fucking traditionalist. <laughs> Is it so much to hope for an oligarch? <laughs> I'll take a Democrat, even. Just anyone else. Uh, don't worry, demonstrates. You're usually pretty good for finding someone. We'll put that in charge there. You're a traditionalist, so I don't quite want to put you in power. Yeah, we well can go in there. The Philead family doesn't. No, no, not the Philiads. Gasp! Have you guys, like, gotten. Like half decent, but it'll be pissing off a different family. A family I like more than you. Uh, how about anyone here I could put in, swap in that I won't mind too much? Uh, not really. No. Oh, I guess the affiliates are just gonna be disloyal some more. Do you just want to be as annoying as possible? Let's finish up this war now. The Antigonids have not landed yet, which is good. It's just crushing defeat. Have you start sieging? Really? Shattered retreating too. Why are you just shattered retreating back to yourselves? No, you're going over there, okay. I'm also gonna keep an eye out here to see if the Phrygians or the Antigonoids 
because I can't really call them Phrygians, they don't have Phrygia. Try to land them. Or Frace, if anything, right now. Although Frace still exists. This is very much like a Vatican situation, isn't it? No, we're still the Phracians! Yeah, bye bye. I'll leave you to the carpet sieging, or to the finish the siege, and I'm gonna move my legions back over, just in case any Antigonoids land. One fortress. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Alright, what other fortresses do I have here? I thought I got rid of you already. Okay. Gosians could use a culture conversion here, and that would keep that loyal, but they're already loyal. Nice. Sparta is pretty loyal. I mean, however, we're going to want this on... There's a mobilization. Borderlands, so there's local manpower. Nice. Um, forums in Sparta would actually be a decent idea. Oh, the Bacchidon declare war on them. On the Nessiotic League. Oh. Wait, no, those are mine! them, but not, um, Antigonoids. I'm gonna have to go to war against Macadon soon now. If they're gonna take the islands from me. I mean, I was always gonna go to war against Macadon. I was just hoping I could, you know, enjoy myself a bit longer. Alright. Start going down here. So, cohort starting experience, experience decay. And we get a really high, a new character with good martial. How oh, good did ye? <laughs> Yeesh. Hello, second coming of Alexander. God, there's so many good people in my legions right now. Heavy infantry discipline, just yeesh. This was not going to go well for you. We get free pips from his commander impact. How? I'll keep that there for now, maybe. Actually, no, let's gather that ship up. We're gonna probably want that sooner. Want that in a battle in case it happens rather than regret it later.
They realize their mistake, I guess. Oh, we're gonna take Naxos for this. Versus seven. I do have a lot more morale than them, though. Ray, morale, bombing, ship damage taken. Mm. We should win this. Texas. You know, just go for the triremes in front and the hexares in back. The morale is a lot closer than I was expecting. Immediately peel off the sides, though. Oof, that's not good though. This is such a close fight right now. Holy shit. My side splintered though, which is the issue. Yeah, he lost. I don't think I'm gonna be able to pick take them off, so we'll try to treat them out. We lost three ships, they lost two, but they kept... Well, we just traded two for two. I lost two triremes, they lost two Liburnians, so not a good trade for me, honestly. But I only lost the triremes, so there's that at least. Why are they so good at morale, well, uh, so good at navies, more so than I would be expecting? Do they have, like, a navy idea going? No, just morale of armies. Maybe they have a lot of navy trade goods and inventions that could be doing it. And traditions. I'm not really focused on my navy yet. Uh, a continuing refusal, Perzid, he is a great orator. He is the party leader, so... The Philistrad family is upset. Well, I will gladly help you with that. Do you have anyone better than that? Seven. Yeah, you can take that place. Um. Right. Wrong person. There we go. Build another Hexary. Because we also need to get a... We need a 10 stack to take on Crete, probably. Could just use mercenaries to take on Crete, but I don't know. I feel like I want to try to focus more on legions right now. And speaking of, do I want to go for that or do I want to go for more research? Uh, 
Okay. Now we've got all of that. Most of the Poly uh, Polynesian. Whatever the island is. <laughs> My tongue isn't working right now. Marshall advance, nice. Could also just go down each one individually now. Uh, there is a few things we want to get from military. Do I want to get quick march or do I want to get foundry? Probably the founder and I'll go for quick march. Government, anything you guys want. You want is a governor or holds a non research office. Who? is pretty terrible. Can't play for sorry, two defensive wars of war and one limited offensive war. Doing more diplomatic play when we're good about it, that's right. Yeah, once you get the hang of Stellaris, it's usually pretty good. It's probably got one of these simpler war systems to understand at least. Okay. And Athenian, so let's get a grand theater here finally. This one converting is quite going along quite nicely. But we should also do some there. That looks as well. One. Oh, you beautiful boys. Thank you. Thank you so that Macadon won't take it. I, however, will. Crushed. Demand his resignation. He is a demonstrant. We'll treat them nicely. Yep. Sue for peace. We won't give peace for Naxos yet. Hmm. Peace for months at war. It is pretty potent. Take their navy, probably. I outnumber them now, after all. And I'm at full navy morale. Who am I at war with, anyway? Ionia, Nidos is probably. Hmm. Nidos could be a good pickup. If I want to try bothering with all of those derps right now, or I'm not exactly in the best position. What could I get? 
I could get that. One island? Really? Only one island. Surely we could probably pick up a few more. Yeah. We could also just let, let the war tick down and wait. I feel so confident I'm going to build roads while I'm doing this. Hopefully Makadon hasn't given them permission to move through their territory. <laughs> Our media has a navy. So how far away are we from getting that anyway? Eleven. So mumps at war, war balance. Yeah. Hey there, sir. We. Contemplating if I want to, like, try to get in the entirety of Naxos in this war, just, like, peace out now for a smaller prize. I guess it all depends on if these Phrygian armies are going to march down through Macedon or not. Or, not Phrygian. <laughs> Fuck you. Uh, we are now going to peace out immediately from this war. We're gonna take... can we take that? No. Can't take Telos. Um... Yeah, if, I'll be happy with that. We can kind of defend those. Gonna have to somehow sneak our armies back. Fort maintenance, fort... Oh, right! I, I forgot all these forts again. Olympia... Harai... Get rid of that one. <laughs> Get that off of that settlement. Argos can keep its, but that's fine. And this one can lose its. Okay. That should give us a lot more money. Which is good, because we're probably going to be, um... In a pretty tough war now. The... how much troops did Macadon have? They currently have 50 cohorts versus my... Let's just, let's just go down here. Oh, not that far. Versus my 16. Hey, Kiri? Okay, how big is their navy? Is that it? So 32. Back on the CU if an S sound, both are correct. 
Macedon is the more Greek historical f thing, I believe. Macedon is how the modern languages pronounce it. From what I know, I could be wrong. So since I'm playing in, you know, historical Bronze Age, yeah, I've been calling it Macedon. Oh, looks like Rome won the First Phoenician War. Did that happen off screen, or was that just, like, a mission tree which did that? I don't see a truce between them. Uh... I have been liberating Greece, yes. Oh... Maybe we should be able to take those. Okay, let's deal with this little small state over here quickly. 19, 12. I wonder if I could take that. Probably not. Close fight. Well, that's not good. We immediately lose in the center. Yeah, alright. Oh, wow, we just had a drastic turnaround. We might have been able to take that. Probably gonna save up for those mercenaries this time, though. Zeta? Okay. Yeah, that's what I don't want to see. Especially with another 5k bar. Holy shit, Macadon! Oh, I'm gonna feel very regretful about not having a um, ally after this, aren't I? Okay, we're gonna have to pull off of that siege. We need to take care of those armies. How? How did you do that? Walked right past my fucking fort. Okay, we should be able to- yeah, we'll get an easy win on this one. Pious traditionalists have decided to use the numerical superiority. <sighs> I really needed that money, traditionalists.
sent them running at least, but now we've got to deal with this army up over here. And now we have to wait another two months before we can start hiring mercenaries. Why are those on sieging? Right. Right, we should make it at least. Yes, okay, cool. Hire you. God How they actually have equivalent um, military tech? Yeah. Treat. Okay, Macadon's pulled that off, pulled back with like 900 losses. Really? That might depopulate that island, which, quite honestly, I don't care if it does. Holy hell! Did you guys raise another 2k? You gotta depopulate yourselves for your overlord's war! Can we just get a white piece? No. Not yet. So they will... Fuck that. Really need this to get its pop, get its morale up. God, the traditionalists had like the worst fucking time to demand shit from me. All of their derps. And their derps are actually intimidating. Well, not that, that one. That one sucks. That one's okay -ish. That one's gonna have a civil war soon. God, I just need to hold off. Battle, I'm not gonna like, but we're winning. Just my holy hell, just all of those pouring in. Really, I think if I lose, lose this, it's purely because of the traditionalist demands at the worst fucking time. I 
I do anything to try to make that, slow that down a bit? There we go. God! <sighs> There's a thing that gives me 8,000, 5,000 manpower here, okay. We're gonna get a civic advance soon, that'll give us some manpower back. Just try to hold these forts from falling. As long as we can. Because if I had two more months of morale from my mercenaries, this might be a win that we could do. God damn. <sighs> okay, um... We might... no... Hey, we might be able to in the future. Not right now, though. I feel like we give one more month to tick over and to hope that none of these sieges tick. Fuck. You arrive in 1st of April, 1st of April, okay. God damn it! That siege win. Let me phrase, does not have the manpower to challenge that. We'll send the Legion down there, maybe. Gives them a chance to, um, recuperate. Start losing this legion a bit, uh, mercenary stack a bit more offensively. Triumph coins, give me that manpower. Laomia should be the capital of their Borussia. Don't you do it! That's what you get for being a dickhole. Egypt, great. Please don't have that all be conquered by Egypt. 
Please conquer that, though. I would have very much appreciate it if you conquered that from Egypt. Loyalty of generals. Sure. You're the head of a family, so we don't want to make you... Um, All right, we removed another derp stack from the board. Military tech came into the lead there. Maybe. Yeah, no, what are those? Librarians? Really? We lost one, but we gained a lot of ships from that battle. They will accept the white piece now. If I want to demand Lamia, they'll actually give me Barishia. Well, you should give me a lot if I can claim it. Okay, so if we can keep the offensive going, we can clean up some of our borders here. They really don't have any forts on this side, do they? I feel like we go up, we claim Larissa, then we sit this mercenary stack here. We might not take Larissa, but it just keeps them from getting their armies passed. Yeah, that's where all their armies had gathered off to. Can we run those ones down? Might be able to. them, but we basically sent them running. Yeah, if we can hold the pass, then, um... Is this a, just a level 1 fort? It is just a level 1 fort, so... Send these people down to finish that siege if it doesn't, you know, untick.
make population, I should probably make that a city. Now to carry for the ride of our foes, the last number two believes that they believes that they have a better chance to escape and rally if he heads a diversionary charge against our foe. Dare we let him? It's more important than a bunch of common soldiers. Oh, what? Um. Son? I am, but apparently after a crushing defeat by uh, God tier seventeen marshals, I'm going to die or get coward. Nice. I'm uh going to just <clears throat> oh no the game. I'm sorry, but no, no, not happening. That battle was over in a day. I'm gonna go just get a drink real quick. All right. We had none of them ten to one. We have the better troops. We have the better discipline. Oh, uh, no, we need to flee, and I need to do a suicide charge to defend them. Macaron did not have this battle well planned out. Really, you conquered it this time. Stop taking my populace. We killed 2,000. That was the... Wow. Holy shit, Macadon. I'll go with that one, I mean, that's a permanent bonus I lost because Macadon decided to sack one of their own culture's temples. That does give them a permanent penalty though, from what I remember, it gives them the impropriety Right. No, oh, impious or something like that. 
It's the Greek version of the word, but yeah. Lamia would actually make a pretty good fortress, thinking of it. It is just planes though, which does suck, but it does control a lot. Uh, this is none of our business, we shouldn't tolerate public... F oh, just have him flogged. Oh, wow, look at that bot. Uh, ban. And report. And there you go. Yeet it out. Okay. Did you send more troops in? Province of Epirus, yeah, who's that? They are... Oh, that is an ally of Macadon's, eh? Alright, someone died. Lacquerids, who do you have? Six Civic. Eh. Oh well, it's, it's your guys' turn to have the shit <laughs> people. Be a pretty crushing victory. Did Did you guys raise a number two K? God, I really needed like just like a third ar a third major army just so I could knock out and siege these derps who have built like two have <laughs> like level two fortresses. Yeah, it goes to show technology still is such a huge power in this game, even after they've nerfed it a bit. Well they haven't nerfed technology, they just nerfed how far ahead you can get.
Yeah, CK2, your, um, unit composition and your leaders are much more important than, uh, technology. Because the technology only gives you, like, small incremental bonuses to what everyone basically has. The only major difference is technology allows you to build up your castles to get more troops of the types you want. Alright, we won that battle. We did lose no ships and we gained some more, in fact. We need to start taking out some of these derps. Right, province. Requires a new governor. We will reward the demonstrants for their... Actually, do you have anything I want to put? Okay. It's 12 oratory, actually. I have a feeling that you were my person there and that you became an archon. Uh, yeah, we'll make you the governor. So the Philistrans can lose a position now. And hopefully we can put a... You're still pretty shit, but so is the last guy in that position. Congratulations, welcome to government. It's gotta be retreating farther than that, isn't it? Yeah, alright. Let's see, that's occupied by the Desentotic League. So far, Egypt's not done, conquered that as much as I feared it would. Let's hope that stays the case. Okay, there's one of those steps taken care of. Oh, that wasn't a derp, that was just... Securing this little area. Although, why is there control of the fortress? I'm gonna have to take that fortress if I want to get that territory. That's a bit annoying since it's not in that province, but I understand it's just annoying. Okay. Right, you made it so that I can't siege your places now. So 
Let that build up a bit. Oh, we wiped them out there. Did they like swing through? All right, we'll let those people build up. We'll be able to tighten up our borders a bit from this war. Oh, right, that island. Thank you for reminding me. I almost forgot. I just assumed this would have been flipped from my control, but yeah, no. We want that. I think that means Egypt has the lead? Yeah. What's the chances that Egypt's gonna take this random little island here? finish already. Why did they have a legion? Kill it in a freak accident. Alright, um... Oh, it's a demonstrant. Not very good one, though. Do you have any other... Anywhere members of your family? Seven civic. Yeah, we'll go for a... Are you the leader of the family? Yes, you are. Okay, now it's the Philistrid family, which is annoyed, but hey, you've actually got a decent person for that position. Hunt fleets. God, I'm missing the road networks, though. First thing I'm doing after this war is roading up everything. Chariots, eh? How are those chariots working for you? God, Lamy's gonna have so little population by the end of this. Ooh. Okay, I cut off that side of it. Yep. Lost 195 to like all of theirs. Uh, 
And as soon as we get the sieges on these derps, we can peace out. At that point, we'll have most of Greece. What pops do we have that aren't Greek? We have... Some Jewish and some comedic. Huh. All right. Oh, an eighteen thousand. Holy hell. That's your entire fucking levy. Do we want to peace out now? Haven't really got on any of the derps. But we can take a bit of Macedonian clay. There's a lot of heavy infantry in that. Let's get Lamia. None of you have power. Eh, you do. So, we'll side with Kineas. We could cancel their subjects on these little derps, though, actually. So yeah, we'll do that. Because this is going to be a painful fight, which I don't want to do. Okay, so we'll take that, we'll take the rest of Boetia. Territory we can take, not really. We'll cancel their subject on... Uh, Oriobos? Ambraxia? I think is what those ones is, yeah. And Ambrachia is over there. Oh, that's Ambrachia, right. Is that Media? Nope. Oh, is that just an ally? We can release a bunch of nations to weaken them, but I don't want to weaken them too much. Because then, you know, Rome or Epirus or someone else will gobble them up. Or the Antigonoids. Antigonids. We'll we take strip that from them though. Yeah, okay. Uh, there. Don't really care too much. But we'll strip them of all of their vassals just because those derps were fucking annoying. Okay. There, our borders are quite a bit prettier. Fuck that 18k though. Olives from Attica, yeah, sure. No, we're not gonna lose our capital bonus. Okay. That was a lot more painful of a war. Actually, it was supposed to be painful and better than I was expecting it to be. Now I want to fabricate for that. Looks like, um, 
Makadot ended their alliance with them, so that'll be a free war. Basically, yeah, like, Border Gore should be avoided at all costs in my mind. From Iron, from Borussia, yep. Alright, this goes back to... Uh, Cultural Simulation. Where do I want to put the... Hmm. I don't want to put the fort here. The fort here and a fort here. I guess that's the better spot for it. it controls more territory. But that's a mountain fort. So is that. I feel like there and there might be the best spots for it, honestly. Here to defend against there, actually. This is good for controlling the pass, but if I control, let's do both. So we'll turn off the fort there, and we'll see about putting some money into building up some of those. I'm doing pretty good. We managed to win a war that I wasn't quite expecting to enter. Uh, any other territory we took that might have forts? You have no forts. Okay. No. We're not helping Rome out. Those people? Yeah, sure. Okay. How did you manage to get incense? I haven't been able to get incense. Oh well. Alright, and now, as I saw from that war, god I want quick marching, or forced marching. So we're gonna speed run there. Now you, build a road all the way to Lamia. That will eventually be my fort here. Maybe I wouldn't even have a fort down here, I'll just have one at Lamia. Yeah, just being able to get to one side of my empire better would be really nice. pirates now. Okay. Looks like Egypt did not eat any of these islands. Good. Known the game shall be held. Let me eyes, quit saving points from all problems. Yep. Who's in charge of my government right now? The Democrats. Okay. Roads, glorious roads.
Alright, time to start building up our infrastructure and then preparing for landing against Crete when we can. Oh, enough people converted to my culture that I can actually get free more. Let's see, what's our current Legion stacks like? They are six. So we have two for ten. Hmm. I feel like I want to go two more heavy and one more engineer. So that we can get more, um, we can get a plus one on our siege against level one forts. Hit a defensive pact with Epirus, you say? Oh my! Build roads to Sparta. Okay. Oh yeah, what am I on in this mission anyway? Right, I still... Wow, okay, I still need one more building in Athens. <laughs> we'll make that the next big thing we do. Because yeah, I'm actually quite a bit behind on that mission tree. Uh, Interfering politics never, I feel. Make that the capital of Archaea. Well, we are going to want a road up there. Finest in Athens, nonetheless, he's issued demand for additional soldiers, paid for and equipped from our own coffers. Uh, uh, yeah? Does that work? Okay! We just turned that legion into something very scary. The two two light cav the two light infantry aren't that useful, but and the archers, but I mean they're useful just not the setup I'm going for. I'll keep them for now because they're better to have them than not. But if need be, I'll get rid of them. So come to the lunacy. Oh, these guys didn't have the fucking road building stance on. Oh, they were just doing a march around um, here to make certain they everyone knew to be loyal. That that's the head cannon now.
Yeah. Just going for a stroll for your empire. Okay. As for Athens, I need another building. We could go for a level 4 fort. Although we could also go for a great temple, which would increase the state, would increase the happiness of our slaves and our freemen. Which might be the way to go since we don't need more research. As soon as this peace treaty is over, I'm coming for you. We also need to defend, build up Lamia, I think. Keep them from passing by us. That would be one way to make Circa sure we don't get ended by Rome. Okay. Yeah. Carthage got kicked out of Sicily and ooh. Rome now has a landing path in its future wars. Oh yeah. Should have begun using his own personal funds to augment the size of his signed army. One should wear to a blood initiative or worry over the attention behind his incense. He's doing a five job. I don't really want more light infantry. So I'm sorry. If there were heavy infantry, I would applaud your initiative. Alright. Let's get some commerce and come up. I don't think there's a penalty for having an army above my uh, stack, it's just... Yeah, it's just the actual cost of it. <laughs> So that event line gave me a bunch of free troops. Okay. Uh, pardon? Did... <sighs> it's because I ran out of money, that'll be what did it. We are getting this road network done! So that the next fight that happens, I don't have to spend fucking ages defending everywhere. How's my living rock of Stonehenge doing? I, uh, love those. It's so Greek, don't you think? But there is, like, one thing I seem to have noticed with the Great Wonders. They always have their maximum tier effect, even when their prestige isn't high enough. Uh, 
And a road through Olympia. Roads also increase our number of trade routes, or so give a modifier to it, which is nice. Ah, huh, does that road network bonus get stronger the more roads there are, maybe? Culture's not integrated culture. We're working on it. That is a massive shrine, if it's going to cost that much. We are thankful for her blessing. Info Sparta should be the capital here. I think I kept the fort there for now, yeah. Eventually it'll be there. Okay, so yeah. Stability has increased. We will have to at his shearing ability to lead. Yeah, he, oh, he's, he's got eight. That's not bad. It's probably just because of his low statesmanship. Give him a chance. He'll grow into it. But yeah. Thank you for that. I just wanted to see what would be the most effective. New import. Okay. Wood. Hmm. Horses would give us population output, which could be nice. Um. We probably want stuff like salt, though. Legion maintenance cost, yeah. Salt's also nice and valuable, so it gives us more money. Hippolo. Look at bold. Okay, and from there, then we want to go. No, not that way, so. Yeah, I think it would be something like that. Hippoi. Alright. Um, I don't catch that. I guess it's a Greek word for something or somewhere. Okay. Ah, fair enough. Price, I should just take your island and help end your... Hi, Egypt! Sorry, see they didn't want the island down here, it's because they wanted a landing on fuck <laughs> in Frace. Why not? It's one fifty five, so they're probably gonna have like twelve, seven, six K. I don't know what Egypt's doing. It's it's just being Egypt, I guess. Army movement speed? Nice. There we go. The Greek road network has begun. No? I think it's because it conquered territory over here. Like, Egypt does start with this place right here. 
for some reason. And it has these guys as a vassal. Holy shit. These guys really have nearly gotten themselves depopulated in fucking fighting wars. But usually they like, um... Oh, they actually conquered Serencia. Fair enough. Usually they focus on fighting wars over here. Oh, hello Armenia! Well, the game kicks off right as the um, successor wars resume, so it's probably tied to that. Like, historically, they probably lost them, but because the AI is a bit bad about taking them on. Like, I'm surprised that the Antigonos took the territory here for once. Get that. Just link up those cities that I missed. Just to make the map look prettier. And give them a trade route bonuses. Liberate Ionia? Return them to the Greek motherland? Probably. I'm just waiting on my truces so that I can finish cleaning up against the, um, Macedonians here. Great, Crete is another one I'm going to get. Then I'm going to focus on the Aegean seas. But first off, this mission, which I really need to do... We can reduce our fort maintenance for now. Culture... Yeah, we got quite a few more people of our pops now. Aetolian has actually, um... Outdone Macedonian. I could integrate the Aetolians. Or I could just leave that on passive culture shifting and build some theaters there later to turn them Athenian. Yeah, all the provinces remain loyal now. The Greek road networks. I love them. Ah, oh, we got a pretty terrible person in charge now. The Democrats have just been in power for a while now. The oligarchs have lost, like, almost everything. Power-wise, at least. Or Senate influence wise. Okay. Affiliate. Um. I don't know if there's any place I can put you in, honestly. Do you have any. No, not really. I guess the affiliates are just going to have to suffer again. It seems good at his hands on all the rail for this. He has a great deal of silver. Started to invest a great deal of silver. He's building a reputation for himself lately. Such as... I don't know, probably before the campaigning he did for us. Is there our trade trait? No, we're not imprisoning him. 
Well, let them get a bit more popularity and loyalty. Oh, that causes them to lose loyalty. Hmm. So I got ads. Got ads and what now? Oh right, yeah. Sorry, what are you playing? Meant a game. Huh. Nope. I might actually put a library here just to um, boost their research a bit, since apparently, yeah. Nope. We're also going to have to probably pay off his um, cohorts. Could also give him a triumph. I don't think I can, actually. Has it been more than two years since that war? I guess it has. Go to this command. And we can bribe him to be loyal for now. Okay, that'll finally get that done. So we need to save up gold for the port, so we get even more import. Yeah, those three more import routes would be nice a while ago. I should have been paying more attention to this, but... Warring went well. Speaking of... Um... Let's improve relations with the barbarian, I mean Romans. Dynasty three versus the Ultimate struggles and experiments have found themselves played on the floor. Traditionalists tired of their gratuitous rider, there is an opportunity to win the support of either side. Traditionalists still make more sense than the oligarchs. <laughs> Right. Oh, which side's in power? The traditionalists, I guess. But yeah, it's just shit on the all. Nah. We get some political power. Which allows us to invest a trade route over here for more money. No, the games will be held, but I can no longer win them because I'm the host, apparently. Megara, I should start building up some more um, research places in too. Just build that road there. It'll look a bit silly, but oh well. Stored to greatness, local tax output, population output. It's secure the borders.
How many loyal cohorts are there anyway? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, oh, yeah, we're probably gonna want to um pay those guys off eventually. Let's focus on getting that up. The rights of the Lucius. I think I want to save up for the ports. Okay. Save up for that. Then we could probably go to war against the uh, the Nasiotic League. Get the rest of these islands back. Phrygia has not many ships, so yeah, we'll probably win that navy war pretty easily. Yeah. We might make that our next war. Yeah. So is Delos. What are the other, um... Oh yeah, the Perseus ports, yeah. I have it, this is just expanding it to be basically, you know, as grand as they were in the past. Technically, this should have all been done before I did this. It just kind of, um... This just kind of made a lot of sense and I did it. I kept forgetting to keep the money in the back to restore Athens. Uh... For more stability, we've got good stability. I kind of want to keep my political influence just for getting more trade routes going for more money. Speaking of, um, you can't get incense. Can you get precious metals? Yes! Should be good. Here we go, the ports of Pariah. Of Pariah, it probably is. Rebuild the Long Walls. The Long Walls are already here. Uh, as it says here, the port city of Piraeus plays an essential role for Athenian commerce and power as it is the home of our navy and merchants. Without access to its ports, we would not be able to project our power outside of Attica. One of the reasons why the Long Walls between our two cities were built in the ancient past. Now we have set aside wealth to expand upon these ports so they could be restored with the rest of Attica. Which gives us more tax, ship recruit speed, three more trade routes, and 5% chip starting experience. Next we'll be, we'll be we will uh, rebuild slash expand upon the academy. Which can give us some really good bonuses. It does occur to me when I take the um... The Delenian League mission tree. I'm uh... I'm going to have most of what it asks me to get already. <laughs> I should probably do like one game where I just try to build a hyper tall and only take like Attica and what the Delian League missions tell me to take. Like by territory. Oh yeah, this one. Local population, free pops, sort of center for the array, age of the figure. This is always a fun one. Basically, a legendary explorer comes by, asks me for shit, gains good traits if I help him, and eventually I can ask him to settle down. In particular, that you could have a proper Polynesian war. Yeah. Well, the only problem is, it's like, these guys still wouldn't be a threat to me. It's when Rome comes calling. Like, I feel like I can hold off Rome with all of Greece united and good technology, but boy, he still exists! Oh man, boy, it lives! Alright, let's trade this out for the ancient fertility figure. Just get some population growth going there. Yes, it's a tired joke. It's like Ohm, but 
hey, it's still funny. It really wasn't. Fuck you. You don't get to. Dis you don't have a. Dis a, a, a the. You don't have a dog in this race. Okay, I feel like. We should probably just go to war and save up money. <laughs> yeah, we're not at peace with them, so yep. Yeah, like Albania being over here. <laughs> Alright, we got a bunch of more imports now we can do. Can we get some more salt? Yes, we can. That'll reduce our legion maintenance. We already have dates. We could get hemp. Ship damage is nice. Light infantry offense, light infantry defense. Earthenware is freeman out for it. Uh, what's our population like values here? Freemen are still a bit prissy. We could get... Well, we could get base metals again. I feel like hemp would be the best way to go. Actually, could we get dyes? Yes, we can. Alright, we'll get dyes. They're valuable, and noble happiness is nice. Send to the future and get some Greek fire from the Byzantines. The Byzantines. <laughs> Probably be helpful, but um. Although I feel like that's what basically happens if you're at like military tech 30 and they're at military tech 10 still. Because yeah, they're at 4, I'm at 8, Makaton's at 4, Crete's at 6, Egypt's at 4, most of the big empires are at 4 now. Tribes are still at 0. Oh no! Hey, the Scots are doing pretty well. They're a tribe of one. Oh, hello. That's just like a tech-free tribe down there. Alright, so I got a new invention. Which means we can finally get quick march for army move speed and the fullest march. Okay. So now, I feel like I want to go for the other, the rest of the efficiencies, or some other things. Oh, I don't have, um... Whoopsies! That looks like we'll be raiding a bit. They don't even worship the Olympian savages, savages. Uh. So yeah, we'll actually put our army and forts back down while we get that ready. Put you back on destroy pirates. Actually, we also might build, while we're raiding just quickly, another free hex areas. Just like I feel like that could be useful. Okay, so that was a civic advance that did it. Um, no, it's for just research. Yeah, here we go. So we got one down here. I could pick up a bunch of loyalty increases, which would be nice. And I get two more innovations when I take that. 
There's also Scry Bay down here. Which is quite a far way down. There is useful stuff. Um, I got the Civic one there. And then we have Stoicism, which is also nice. But also quite a ways down. I feel like I'm going to go down this way. Mostly because I want to get the character loyalty. Because A, it helps keep characters loyal. Loyal characters produce more political influence when they're your officers, so that's just basically giving me more political points. And two, when I go down the Democracy of Athens mission tree, I can strengthen the democracy and get a really powerful government form if I have enough loyal characters in my government. So I feel like gunning for this and getting the loyal character ones would be nice. Because, yeah, um... Because, yeah. Let's see, loyalty of governors... Cohort loyalty gain chance... Loyalty of characters down here. So we're going to go down to here. And then we can, like, pick that one up. We also get a bunch of pops, which is nice. And then we're only, like, two shots away from there. And then once we've got military patronage, we might as well go down. Get scientific per scientific patronage. The Caronomia, which is monthly tyranny. But then we can get this, which is 25% political influence and plus two. So yeah, I feel like that'll be the way to go. No, not my dies! Listen, I don't have the trade to- I don't have the purple dyes from China yet. How could you do this to me, Egypt? Um... Anything else we want to get instead? We got plenty of precious metal as it is. Got glass, we could get the base metals. Uh, I feel like hemp, we could use some hemp. Getting the national bonus for that's probably a good idea. Well, speaking of, how close are we? Only three away. Athens gains warm period. More population growth, nice. That's actually what I'm doing now. I'm cut I'm um Fabricating a claim for here. I could hurry it up, but that means I have to get off of Merchant Stance, and I want that money. <laughs> like, don't get me wrong, if I were in a war and I want to just, like, carve something up, I'll switch to Bellicose because war score costs decrease. But I want money. Money allows me to invest more and make more money. Huh? We might be able to get an alliance of Rome next month. And we're halfway through our fabrication. What stance is Rome in, anyway? Can I tell? Oh yeah, it reminds me, we could actually, um, take new ones of these if we want. Discipline, experience decay, order retreat could actually be pretty good, that army morale recovery is massive. Provincial loyalty, population capacity, capital import routes, oh, province income import routes, yeah. That is such a god tier one to have. That'll make us a lot more money. Than the commerce increase. Because, yeah, now all of our provinces have an extra trade route that they can start trying to do stuff with. When we need it, um, 
the research points is probably going to be... Ooh! And for proclaiming that harvest trade and taxation have all produced a huge surplus this year and a splendid share of national spirit and we set it off the additional income to the state. Spend the money for the new uses, however. Uh, get, get some marketplace. Hold some local games with the funds. Ask the residents what they want. Eh, we'll take the money. Kronfos is basically there to be my fuck my key into Attica, so that it declined the wood yet. Speaking, what is their culture? Aetolian? Oh, Academy of Athens. The Academy was active for all of our years on the subjugation of others, home for many of the intellectuals in Greece. As our city is being restored, it makes sense to help the intellectuals keep their academy up to modern standards. We only have that war ready. And now we have an alliance of Rome. The rights in Eleusius. Shadow offense have been well received by the priesthood of the Telestarian uh, and Eleusius, and we hope to believe the divinities themselves will appreciate our gesture. The Miss Eleusian Mysteries. Characters' efforts have occasionally joined the Eleusius. Well, anyway, our current leader is pretty shit, so I don't know if I want to give him the bonuses. Eh, no, he's, a, he's okay. He's nearly through his realm term, though. Yeah, we'll go for more commerce. No, our god tier civic leader died. Okay, economy. I can't wait for Rome to, to call me into all the wars against little barbarian tribes up here. It's paid off recently, managed to convince somebody to clearly change the stance of the approach issue. Alright. Alright. Take clades. Antigonids have indeed joined the war. A crushing defeat. A crushing victory, I suppose I should say. Victory in my end. Just have them hunt fleets. Because if any of their fleets show up, I will. Oh, actually. Forgot! Forgot! Thank you for the ships. Yeah, they're gonna get... Not those poor islands. The islands I keep forgetting to do anything to. Uh...
I keep forgetting I have those islands there. <sighs> Why do you keep sacking your own holy sites? It gives you a penalty, AI! Like, I know I didn't defend it. That is my bad. I kind of forget that I have it there. I can't rebuild it either because it's too a tip guard that I don't patronize. I mean, I could if I did a bunch of swapping my focus deities around, but... It's just going to be the way it is. Could probably also take some territory here if I so wished. Take some of the Aegean Isles over here. Quarter arms against... I called it! I fucking called it! <laughs> oh, it's a little rebellion. Give us some more military increases. Prominent intellectuals only, please. Lamia could use some uh, walls, finally. Oh, ooh, that was close, and then we clicked both. Genius or Master. He's good. 10, 12. You. Yeah, we only need the one, so. I think Kratos. Krateros. What is 12? Oh, he's a polymath. Oh, wait, no, that's someone else I had. Oh, okay. See, the Demon. The Demosthenids just keep producing excellent people. Selfish wise, okay, yep. Mines. Go back with two. I can steal an admiral from Rome. Only trusting poet, content, disciplined. He is nine. By good natured scholar. Only an eight, though. Hey, we'll take the Roman admiral. you on hunt fleets now. When do we have our elections soon? Okay. We 
You're not exactly good about... Well, might as well just... I want that. Yeah, it's going to take a lot of the war score. Across Hill and Dale, Valley Brook, Explorer is going to make his way to a border. The Haggard Macedonian looks like a bit worn traveler. Clad in flying cloak and fred for sandals. The trick in his eye tells him a wealth of knowledge hidden behind his craggy face. Asking for something small for some this time for his continued travels, offers a beautiful gift gilt candlestick which he claims to have sourced from a mausoleum belonging to a fallen king belonging to Indus. Whale fat candles, yeesh, that's a lot of money. What would ambitious give him? Don't want to go into debt for this. You know what? Fuck it. I've never done it before. loyalty form? Yeah, he has. Okay. Bribe him again. Before we start occupying some of the islands here, we might want to take. Get Coralow to gain chance, that's going to be an issue. But we'll have money again soon. Hopefully, we just don't get any really bad events because of it. Hello, you have consigned your death warrant. Ow. Stack wiped. Is that not getting... Ah, oh, it's because it's my state capital of this, right? Yeah. New guy is a traditionalist. I 
I feel like bad things are gonna start happening when the um traditionalists and the democ and the and the populists start working together. Uh, those 400 men are about to have a very bad day. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Died to a rotten herring. Okay. Stability is decreased due to the impact of a new ruling party. He is greedy, which will give a population growth. You get to rule over that pirate haven. Take part in the sacred rites of Eleusius for Clismonicene Temple. We've managed to secure a lot of support for the people of Athens amongst the priesthood. Attican celebration. And now we give all of Attica a population capacity, population output, and local tax bonus. Now here's a question. Helens of the North requires leadership. The events of past hundred years have proven the need for the desperate colonies of Pontus Exionus to band together voluntarily or by force. They have survived the rise of successes for emulators or barbarians. Establish a Euxian territory. I don't know what that actually is about. I've not actually picked that one before. I'm gonna guess it's like conquering th this region, maybe? Or... I don't know. The matter of Frace, I think that's just from the generic ones for having territory in, in a province that's not yours. Democracy in Athens. The Republic in Athens was known far and wide for its strength and institutions until we were conquered by four barbarian kings who started influencing our internal politics. As freedom has returned to us, we will focus our efforts on restoring the ancient Republic of old and cleanse the stain upon our history. Considered complete with the ancient Athenian Republic has been restored to the glory days of Clesius, of Cleisthenes, of Cleisthenes, I'm gonna guess, or shattered entirely, or restoring the Delian League. In the Golden Age of Athens, we controlled the Aegean Sea and were the henchmen of the Delian League, bringing wealth and riches from one side of the sea to the other. After the League was shattered, the relations between old members decayed and were eventually replaced by obedience to Theban or Macedonian tyrants. I feel like we've got most of this done already. I know we can get some nice bonuses, like we conquer um, Delos and we make it a feudatory and it gives us a permanent bonus. Well, we have it as such. We get claims on Macedon that we can take. But I feel like we might actually try for the democracy one, because that the Athenian Republic is a very powerful government type. Now, first off, we need a Pythias who has 20 statesmanship and 20 and 80 loyalty. Or we need 60% stability. Okay, we can work on the stability one first. Uh, is there one, anyone with higher statesmanship here? Yes, actually. Okay, so now we just need his loyalty up. Which... Curse to me, we maybe not wanted to, um... Have a faction leader, because their power base decreases their loyalty. I was just thinking of that. Um, Grant Free Hands would give... 20, which would bring it up to 69. And when I get money in my account, we could make it... Yeah, we should be able to make it, actually. We just need to get money. Popularity. It gains corruption. We're just going to shave a bit from the top. I 
feel like we'll we'll take these islands. I didn't want to lose that stability, but okay. We're back into the positives now, though. Uh, speaking of losing stability, well, the priest will be left alone. Oh, we're almost out of food. Runes to Ionia from the fort in Preen. Where is that fort? Down there. Okay, that is a big fort and we're gonna need food to take that back. Alright. Oh, by the way, uh, sign up. If you go down the Greek tree, you can unlock the mega polyreme, uh, polyremes and the octaras. You know, if you just wanted to make a ridiculously big ship and send it at the enemy. I feel like I'm gonna go down here for the heavy armor, heavy infantry bonuses, and eventually picking up military colonies, however. We could take the, um, split off of just the islands now, though. Centralized committees, change governor policy cost, okay. I don't know I was going to do go down the individual ones now, wasn't I? Oh, well. We lost like 600 men because they starved to death on the way home, but oh well. Ooh, catch their fleet, catch their fleet. Still good. Let's build that second fort up there. Mayor Aegean? There. Okay. There we go. Yeah, not much chance of that going well for you. We did lose five triremes. Hmm. Do we have the peace treaty up here? We do have that going. Probably want that fort to be fully upgraded before we do go to war against Macadon, though. Could I have a go to war for 
Uh, no, we should tidy up our borders, shouldn't we? So that's sort of the only Isles. Is there anything else I want from this war? Not really. Oh, I can make it a feudatory of myself. Might be a, or a client state, actually. Hmm. That could be pretty interesting. But I feel like we want... I want to go to war against Macadon again. So we'll take that. We can't make them cancel any subjects. Delinea, Delos will eventually be free. But for now... Oops. Silk. We want the silk for ourselves, though we probably do. Silk does... Yeah, National Noble Output. Let's cancel the dies. Sadly, I don't think you make much money off of internal trade routes. Which I do think is a bit dumb, but oh well. Could stop importing the hemp, actually. So much for what now? Atarki? Yeah, we do get some, we just wouldn't get as much as if we were selling it outside of ourselves. I mean, it's self-sufficient, it's just not as rich. I feel like we'll take that next, because we don't want to give Epirus or Macadon a second way into Greece. Dacian. Trying to for Yeesh. Like, best of luck if you're trying a fortune, but you're not getting three hundred dollars out of me. Oh yeah, that great wonder took up our uh, mine slot. Got about that. Oh well. Yeah, we'll help out a bit there.
Buddy, we're making a lot more money now. Because all of these provinces have gotten their little trade routes going. Okay, so he just needs 80 loyalty now. So give free hands, will get us most of the way there, and that'll get us the rest! Alright, Ophelion uses 10 political influence, gains council of 500, which gives us local citizen output and local citizen happiness in our capital. Which just basically means more uh, research. 10 approval from Democrats. An end to the opposition. Adopts the dictatorship government form. Yeah. Which is one of each is a monarchy. And gives us, I think, Freeman happiness? Can't quite tell. Should you receive the Afidi. Ah, yeah, you get more civilization. I don't know what that is. But yeah. Because the Democratic Republic gives 15, so we get 10 more civilization value. Which is pretty good, especially for our um, settlements. We'll hire these again, just to keep Makedon away from invading. These poor assholes who keep dying for me from Trace. Oh, nice. Hey, 135 ducats is not a trifling gift, okay? Argos has that, has that. Oh, you don't actually have. And then again, most of you is Lacedonian, so you probably don't need it. The the um Aetolians up here, however, could probably use it. So yeah, what is the most? Twenty six, seven, six, eight. Grand Peter here, maybe. Oh, Athenian's already nearly the maximum. Oh, that's right, not there. That's here. A few pops info. We only have three Athenians. Here we have six. Eh. We'll put it over here. Uh, I believe so, yeah. I don't actually remember what it probably is. It's probably the fox head. Who else is getting the fortress built? Grenfell's could use a more a, a, a third fortress. What's more, the legendary Demodamus has shown his face at our border. This time he travels by haggard looking gal and Kim's have spent the last years traveling about the coast of Gaul, as far as Germania and Hypernia. And again, he brings wondrous artifacts that have the blessings of the gods upon those touched, and we can't be sure the practice effects, but our people suddenly seem to believe him. We get the Hypernian Chainmail, local fort defense, gains disciplined, and he will continue on his journey. We've seen the magistrate as well as the charges will be doing a bit of disciplined jobs. Cup trader will be given, will not be given anything. Oh, for trader's dungeon. Matter of Jerox being definitely funds for his office have been lacking lately.
Do I have any more missions that require him to be loyal? Ruler. Yes. Hmm. Let's cancel that fort construction. Oh, that didn't give me the money. Oh, yeah, it did. Okay. It's all right. That should probably be good enough. Oh, wait, yeah, these guys. They actually won't be in the war now that I think about it. Still, might as well. We can declare war on them while at war with Macedon. That'll help get the morale recovery up a bit faster. I probably rode to Rome is my ally right now, and hopefully it stays that way for a while. Also, Rome hasn't exploded past into the barbarian lands as much yet, which is nice for me. Maybe they're going down a different mission tree. No! How dies! Sense. Well, back to import a camp for a bit. Looks like we managed to defeat the Macedonian Navy. We lost seven ships, and they lost nine, and we gathered back ten. Nine. So yeah, we made out even on triremes and made up a bit better on librarians. Cool. Let's go get repaired. Treya. Truria. Okay. What if that's a revolt? Hey, Mackinac Navy! I know you like to exist, but how about you didn't? Five... Ow, we actually lost five of our Hexaries in that battle for whatever reason. I'm probably just deploying them wrong. They're ready to... Deploy them in the center.
Maybe that'll work better. It's library. Yeah, sure. Fine. Oh, I think our fat died. Good statesmanship and good loyalty. Uh, he'll get his statesmanship up. Navy's up nice. Census data. Athen gains one free province of infant with active population capacity or territorial. Nice. Do you want to bum rush down that way? Eh, might as well. Nah. I'll like split it up because I do want to get the foundry. Okay, I kind of don't like you doing that. Occupy that, right? Oh, oh. I think I depopulated it when I smashed their army into pieces. Doing over there. Uh, what? The 
fuck happened? Seriously though, how the fuck did that battle go that way? Good strength. I swear I don't understand Navy battles at all yet. The rolls haven't ever done that before. Was it just a deployment, maybe? Oh, we're left with this librarians. Sweet break from bounds. Right, we need to get our so we'll perform a divine sacrifice that'll help a bit. So the Agonius needs 80 loyalty and 50 statesmanship. And our civic researcher also needs 80 loyalty. Well. That's loyalty taken care of, now it's just a statesmanship. She should get pretty easily. Civic researcher. Oh, same deal. But yeah, I really need to figure out just how that's meant to work, because, um. I don't understand how that battle happened. Fleet maintenance is at full. He did have a very good general in charge. Wise, conquer, proud, blunt, nothing too insane. Hmm. Military tech is still much weaker. The collection of dissatisfied senators who means trade fleets. Some additional protection for trading routes that they around the nation. Yeah, sure. Marvelous, so Texas will be here for guidance. Okay. Let's take a bit of Macadon.
second row mini Etruscan War. It was a tale of a wise king by the name of Solomon. Probably not going, it's probably just going to, you know, immediately switch back when I conquer it, but hey, maybe I can pick it off. Okay. Bye-bye, Fort. Bye bye for Still really want to know how that fucking battle happened. Capella then. Of the divine man for his life, because of his such a fool, we discovered exotic a local temple to the Buddha. So, I Probably be able to handle that. Oops, this is what the second, yeah, this is the second Punic War now. Oh, a 
Oh, Governor died. Uh, loyalty. Weak wound. Yeah, whatever. Tigonids have a civil war going. Easily wise, selfish, plain spaghetti. True will go to tyranny. Of good statesmanship, your loyalty could be higher, but eh, it should be there now, yeah. So we just need the civic researcher to have statesmanship and loyalty. And the stability. Uh, we can do that click again to get some more tick stability. Nice, that helps. Freeman. Why do you want to do that so badly? Province of Macedonia. We need to rebuild our fleet now before we can go to war against Crete. Uh, 
Nice. Since this dad has, so we want to go down to. Yeah, food familiar. So, summary diplomatic reputation, summarity, extended diplomacy, to get different reputations, a diplomatic range. Hmm. I feel like if I want to go down the espionage, I'd also go down the assassinate route. Let's go for the reputation. To help keep our alliance of Rome going. So the service of hopeful eyes that the veterans of our armies look towards retirement, life will hurry. Complex arrangement whereby we might have surge our tired veterans yield to this reward which would be very what my courage would refuse. Yeesh. Yeesh. Well, fair one to that we go. It's only like 10 months of debt, so we'll see if we get what bad events we get. <sighs> the one thing I've been trying to raise for a while now. It's better than research right down, I guess. Holy shit! Back to back! Ah, oh, damn, it went back to Egypt's control. States been shut out fast. And we gotta have to wait for this one anyway. This is a civic advance. There is stuff for to go down civic, I think, but for research. Yeah, all the way down at stoicism, so. I have this one be the one that we use to get towards blacks and foundries. I might take a break anyway since I'm nearing eight hours of streaming and I'm in a very good spot. Crete's been broken in half by its revolt. Uh. Sacrifice again, maybe? No, not yet. Culture-wise...
Aetolians. It's found an Aetolian colony. So Leprion is where we're going to be starting this colony. Down here, okay. We'll put a grand fear to help out with that. Start like building out stuff, honestly. This isn't going to be much of a challenge against us, I feel like. Now all the Romans doing that 20k, yeah. There's the priority courts of blood have been destroyed. Crushing defeat. Forty-two percent Athenian is now the primary culture in Boeotia. Oh, we actually are at risk of civil war. Um, there's that taken care of. Let's go for a second one of those. Okay, as soon as that gets up to 60. 
just need a civic researcher to get a bit more statesmanship. So, 0. 0.5 to 20 months, I think? Or is it 20 years? I think it's 20 months. Ah, uh, decays each month, right. Game shall be held. Just took Carthage. Not boy! Anything but boy! Please, Rome, sate your bloodlust elsewhere. Splendid event. Prosperity. You have no need for gold. So we get point two five from researcher. For his finesse. Renovations. Tourism. Festo gains a renowned temple. Ooh, permanently okay. Uh, give it like another month. Sure, Rome. Rome just going to town. Get that commerce going. Speak of, we really should get the um funds to build a holy site towards. Really, that cheeky one K. You are being a complete and utter dick right now. Major power. 
history of at least 100 territories among special rules can be used. Guarantee other countries, can threaten war, can support rebels, can have alliances. Following happens, integrated culture happiness, capital import routes, integration speed, monthly wages for characters plus 10%. Yeah. Diplomatic reputation, relations, monthly political influence, war score cost, diplomatic range, pressure of possible war. Loyalty of generals, admirals, and governors, change governor. Okay. Nice. <laughs> yeah, we probably don't need the fort here. Can we get some dyes? No. Some silk? Yes. Mountains, 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 a lot of mountains. Settlement, right? Yeah. Sure, you can have some of your honey back. Oh, this is right. We literally can't. Civil War Bruin. Survive you. Restoring the Assembly. Assembly's been suffering under the rule of ambitious politicians, former overlords. Considering the past, we worked through a lot of the issues that have been troubling the Assembly of late. The oligarchists and the rich elite would no longer be, a be able to unduly influence our elections and decisions. The Assembly of Citizens and the Deny Priest and Senate Law. Small investment, could it hurt? The Assembly of Citizens Law? It does require some political influence. Right, and the deny priests and senate law. Which will increase our pop conversion. Not really needed, but hey, if it's what the mission requires, we'll go for it. Uh, we need 50 statesmanship there, and 42. Is there any way we can get help statesmanship out? It's gotta be some way. That requires Tenius. <laughs> so it's Tenius, the Argonius, and Sick Researcher. So. Someone with high. So you need to say that, right? Um. You, what's your statesmanship like? 61, we need 50, is it? Yes, okay. Let's 
subscribe for him. Okay, no, you're not loyal enough. We're gonna need another person who's pretty loyal if we're gonna do that. I would give 20... 35. So we need to have at least 55. Loyalty. You'll do. This is just a temporary measure. So now we just need the influence. We should get at the end of this month. In the footsteps of Salon. We've cleared up many of the problems that had arisen between the Council and the Assembly, showing up many of the differences and disagreements between the students, moving the process of passive laws. Now we can start to make it appear as we need to improve our nation, just like Salon did in the age of the past. Organized citizen. Athens enacted the Assembly of Citizens Law. Yeah, we need influence for that. So, yeah. Smith Incumbent, you can go back to being a oh. researcher. Then, there we go. Okay. So now we just need... Yeah, that sort of stuff. Okay, cool. Hierarchy of responsibility now. <laughs> but yeah, 
Um, let's see if I can finish this mission tree. See, I think it's just the law cost now. And then gold, which is easy enough. Now it's more likely to convince the... Best actions against other characters. I don't think we're going to get... I mean, we could cheese it, but I don't really care too much about that. Wait for the Civil War to be over, then we'll see about, um... Conquering. Oh, we do building up the fort here finally. Hold on, hold on. This is what it'll take. This is what it'll take. Hold on, hold on. Oh no. The Philistrid family does not have many good choices, so. Just gonna reward them. Perhaps we should, like, gather up 300 gold to put another holy site down there. Alright, sure, we'll join you in that war too, why not? There's a city there. Siege uh, mountains all the way. <laughs> Anything else we kind of want to build a road to? Oh, yeah, Temple of Apollo, actually. Nice. Too many controlling modifier. This is going to hit our stability a bit. Democrats are back in charge. <laughs> oh, sweet free province investment. Um, war imports, I guess. Sweet. 
So we do have the Temple of Poseidon down there. Could also just go down there too, thinking of it. Not that we have any cities here, but could be useful. Dies. No. You get some hemp finally, though. Hopefully. Yes. Get better airs. Oh, we can actually, um, four hundred gold to do that. Might as well, especially since, yeah, that's, um, a bit above max, it appears. Those would actually be pretty useful militarily wise, but yeah. Marble. Okay. Assembly of citizens. Deny priest and senate. Okay, um... For some reason you're only over there. Alright. That's a thing. power for that. Glory to be. We gain six to the... Oh, yeah. Research speed? I am on that. This is our general. He has a lot of chemical power. One side of fire, Oleus. Should have a 
Oh, um. Most of the commanders died. I dismiss portions of our living. Safe here in case I fuck this up. No. no. First off, let's reward veterans. And two more happies should do us pretty well. Should probably just start drilling these guys too. So it has walls. That's what we're using political influence on changing laws. That civil war is still going. We're gonna need what is it? Twenty-five cohorts, we need twenty-five ships. Come over here. We go to the resources first. That's two time is valuable. Yeah, sure. Yep, might as well start drilling. Okay. Laws of deny priests and senate. Okay, 
Navigation policy, pop the motion speed, what's the ability? Cultural primacy, feels like what I should be want to go for. But, after the assembly of citizens' laws, charismatic rules of Athens will be more likely to convince the inclusion of passing diplomatic actions against other nations. The many stains in our institution's history have finally been rectified as we return to the old monastery government. No longer will ambitious barbarian kings be able to influence our internal politics. Now we just need gold. Into this nonsense. All right, ancient traditions. We are holding large-scale festivals all across the nation to celebrate the great strides we've taken to restoring our democracy in its former glory. Our people remember this as the start of a new golden age of Athenian democracy, and Xenophon as another Clisthenes. I mean, he was one of many people working on it, but yeah. Let the festivities begin. Welcome to war refugees. Destroy pirates. No, our religious advances. Minor characters. The facility is complete. It's time to return to the more serious matters at hand. Democracy is not the end goal. It is only the beginning. It's something we have to actually work to maintain. One day at a time. We've now got the Athenian Republic government form. Which gives us what? Happiness of people and I don't know what that is. Something cost down. Oh, I gotta take all these again. Well, that sucks. Mission tree wise, I think, um. Earl of Greece. Greece is our home as well as our center of our country. We must grow the economy of our home region, renovate the capital itself to make it the shining center of civilization that it deserves to be. We must recruit and embellish our capital in Athena, increase the food supply, develop local mining, and prosper for new deposits, develop maritime trade. Go for restoring the Delian League. I think. We'll get a claim on Rhodes. And all of this we're just gonna be racing down. Right, because of our, um... That's gonna hurt a bit, actually. So, yeah, what about... Civilization change looks nice. Omen power, 50%. Mm. Version speed, integrated culture, happiness, monthly rule of popularity, gain more for tyranny, and loyalty of characters. That is nice, but probably not too needed. Although it is nice. Compared to, yeah. Go 
God, we actually do need a quite a bit of um <laughs> political influence right now. Like force is necessary. Yeah, we'll just let the pirates hang out. What's the worst that could go wrong? Ah, uh, enact law cost. Alright. National citizen happiness. That's nice. Enact law cost. Also nice. the epaulets, right, yeah. Country civilization level. 35, 45. Suppose we do the mission one first, then I'll. Oh yeah, we also want to get the tech investments. Forgot about that. History of Chester of Revolt. Well, you're just kind of blobbing there, aren't you, Rome? Might as well. I feel like I will be ending soon. It's just like I constantly want to keep investing now. I just want to build this and make it very profitable. But yeah, we got some conquests I want to do. Create some of the Aegeans. We might peel away some of the on there. But I feel very comfortable with our borders right now. Preparing the campaign. Yeah, now we'll get this done. Piracy. Tomb of Apollo. I want to go down here. Because, yeah, we'll be able to... Yeah, the releasing of the Feudatory is nice because it gives us a permanent bonus. Oh, however, that's the one up here, yeah. It has a forum, it has a fortress. I we are sure to get stuff. That's right, we need... Yeah, we need, um... Influence both of those, so... Might as well build a grand feeder! Doubling. What do we need to spend immediately? Yeah, sorry, we don't need more light infantry. Oh, no other neighbors. Oh, 
one of many. Dome of Apollo. Which gets a temporary modifier. Oh, let the priest be in charge of the local government. Which releases Dallas as a feudatory. We see the following modifier as long as it remains a feudatory. Which is state, religion, happiness, omen power, and religious tech investment. Oh yeah, we need like a much stronger fleet too. Embrace Judaism. Oh yes, culture-wise. It's found a colony. It's the Ambakia. Fair enough. So we want to also put down one of these thingies here. Who does Frace even have as allies? Demand a payment to the territory. Cool. This is an oratory. So we will move towards scientific patronage of loyalty of governors plus five. Nice. I wonder, can I fret in war for that territory? Alright, we have to do that after we get our, um, all our stuff back. Let's see, global, national citizen, that's not that. Province import, that's it, province import. That's the god tier one. Oh, that should sort itself out. How the hell did we get that? Research points 10%. Treasury in Delos. Permanent gains the Delisian Treasury. Yeah, we'll strengthen our vassal a bit. <laughs> nice, heavy infantry offense. Maybe you shouldn't go so far for your hunts. Uh, let's see. Yeah, well, 
welcome them. Nice. This was a civic advance, did it? How's our technology doing? Still doing good. I'm still down there. Uh, we'll get the blacksmith apprentices, heavy infantry cost, and the foundry building. Can we finally get dyes? No. Damn. Could finally get wood. Or something else our people appreciate. Can't get amber. I'm surprised we could trade for Emperor. Why did we grab? No, oh, I think we lost a citizen, maybe. Or something demoted. Game shall be held. Fund our future endeavors. Next is the first city state that dared rebel against the original Delian League, trying to break free from our hegemony. So we continue to spread our influence across the ancient scene. It's important to keep in mind who to trust and who we need to dominate. Finding Calphos. Take control of the air, and we can establish a garrison of royals to secure their island, there we saw some opposition at the start, the people quickly run down and seem to have gotten used to the idea of the return of their ancient overlord. <laughs> Take a city city of Cochrea, once the last delegate polis before you left the borders of the league, it lays at the crossroads of Greece, Ilia, and Magna Gratia, and it is a point of trade point that we will surely benefit from controlling. Axos <laughs> has a bit. Okay. We can do that. Axos! Okay. Alright, we nearly have enough of this. Hmm. More school calls, storage of governors, research points. I'm going to go for the research point ones, because I feel like we're going to need that eventually. Let's go for... Horseman speed, army morale recovery. Ooh. Age and maintenance cost, navy maintenance cost. That could actually be pretty good. We'll go for that for now. Do we have, like, a lot of forts in an area again? Oh, what the hell. How long has that been like that? Next, them, you asshole. Cool. 
this is still going on. <laughs> Looks like it's finally running, rounding oh, yeah. down though. Massilia. No! Not the Greek territory! It shouldn't really do much. Gain some marble quarry, base resource production, slaves needed for surplus, minus three, local state up. Nice. Putting a foundry here would probably be pretty good. Searching if it would be probably worthwhile. We'd be losing a capital bonus if we did that, basically. Colonies yet, right? Oh, back to drilling. Personally. I think we'll go for loyalty of characters. Basically just stays us in a war, gains us more political power. And we'll probably go for... Yep. 
It's like the civilization rate's already pretty dang good. We need to start building up a fleet for that mission. Gains a few new garrison. Samus. Basically, the Iolian Isles. There's a royal infant in the city. It's time to steal the freedom. The French have turned out two cities, but you than that much. How good are you? Nine? Yeah, you're pretty good. Do well, some new blood. Get some money. Well, and then this one. Okay. He's been a nice man. What's the population doing here? 1.5. It's got one of these boys in here. I feel like I'll take the research points just for the future. There we go, we finally have a fully powered up Athenian Republic. You only gain an experience point a month. Great is finally finished with its civil war. Oh, actually, never mind. Almost done with the civil war. Uh, actually, what is the cohort? How many people does Creed have? Four. This is going to be a slaughter.
start co co uh, fabricating some claims. So. All right. So Rhodes, what's your fleet like? One ship. Rome does not really have much in the way of roads yet. Unfortunate prices. All the way over there. Nice. Propolis of Rhodes, eh? For freedom. Yeah. No shock, this is gonna be a pretty quick fight. Yeah. Oh, we get cultural simulation going in over here too. Yeah, mate. 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 Eventually, they will all be a Fenian. So, see, the more they convert, the more we get a lot, the larger army we get. That's more they get simulated, I should say. I think we have so much raw exhaustion. Right? You son of a bitch. Oh, wait, no. It's not occupied. Hmm. That's pretty giant fucking... Um, 
Macedonia. Apparently this needs a grand theater too. The one point eight influence. Should be choice. That's not as far as I can tell. Sure. More money. Uh, marble is more for sure. We don't really need dyes. We still can't get. What else can we get? Furs. Yeah, we can get some furs finally. Not only really useful for the tribesman happiness, but useful for the experience drop we'll get there. Mention. Brood Familia. Affini. Okay, getting the approval for that now is demonstrably needed. Don't fuck my legion. Right. Oh, civilization in Athens is blinding. Occupied for whatever reason. Eh, not the worst person. That crate is now fully occupied. Investments in Arcadia, it's religious complexes. Yeah. <sighs> well, rip political power, yeah. I hardly knew you. Need political influence, unfortunately. Otherwise, sure. Score and we're actually the first, huh? 
Total score of the pops. Sterling solution. Situation divider 90. Right. So because we started so weak. Fair enough. Getting to the point that we should just like build like 30 mega polyremes and let them just go to town. Strength damage taken, strength damage done. Gets inspired. Current one to keep this is a dangerous precedent. Yeah. <laughs> Do you care about what is like presumably? The city of Rhodes has finally fallen to our troops and is now in our hands. Rhodes is known across the Maternians for the independent troops as well as their great craftsmen. Though several kings and rulers have temporarily taken control of the island, it has fought back its independence at every turn. Most impressive was a hard fought victory against Antigonus, one of Flemish and his son Demetrius. The city under our control, our men and avatars will go to how we should treat our old enemy. Great works of Rhodes will be left alone. Chariot can stay. Uh, culture wise, we should actually have quite a few Aegeans now, shouldn't we? Cretan. Oh, not too many, actually. A few. Governor for Asia. <sighs> Why is phrase causing war exhaustion? Probably because of this thing over here, isn't it? Attrition, <laughs> blockade officials, monthly spirit sea. It's all good. Thank you. 
turn. Really annoyed about this constantly ticking war exhaustion that I can't do anything against. Ships. Um, I think I will pause it here now. We're in a really strong spot. We're probably. Let's just look at Ledger. Like, by population, we're not the strongest. But yeah, we're 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 by population. And, I mean, oh. Population, our oh, civilization is so much better than everyone else's. Number of ships, Carthage is still in the lead, but we're picking up pace. Sort by war exhaustion, sort by aggressive expansion. Oh, I wonder what, what are they're doing. Oh, that's what they're doing. Oh, Super India is about to be a thing. So this is tyrannical, sort by stability. Huh, I wonder how they got that up to 80. So by country rank. So Seleucids and Moria and the Moria are the only great powers right now. Fair enough. Armenia, Carthage, Rome, ourselves, and Egypt are major powers. I don't think we're going to get to be a great power. I mean, if we became the great uh, the Hellenic League and conquered everything we would be. But I feel like I'm just going to keep to, well, Greece. And the Delian League, I think. If, if Rome becomes, becomes enemies for us, we might rip off uh, Sicily and maybe we'd rest them back to Gracia. Probably make it a vassal. Might be nice to make some vassals and all that to expand further. <laughs> Would you like some of your metals back, Rhodes? Egypt's being a bit annoying with some of its territory over here, though. Where you might actually have to seriously consider, um. Yeah, going to war with them. We need political power to get. Oh, we can build shit here. Uh, boundary, probably, yeah. I'm going to Gracian, The guards. No, she have the Gracian new. But yeah, um, definitely have to invest in some more stuff, I think. Unfortunately, our political influence has been quite limited. Yeah, our Archon is currently costing some. A little corruption, yeah. Like, Why is our Archon costing us political influence right now? One. Arrogant, effective ruler, yeah. Darn. It's corruption on top of it. Using his power base. Well, why do we got assist? Ew. We might, we might as well. Because you, we're gonna do a bit of tatting up, rip away these, go down the Delian League mission, which means we'll eventually. Should we take like all of that? So I don't, well, don't particularly want to take all the Macedon. Like, don't get me wrong, rich territory, but... We do need amphibios. We have Thassos here, which gives us, um... 
a nice thing for more precious metals. So, if we took Amphios, we might as well take the entire province, shouldn't we? I mean, it's right there. Then we'll have, like, all of this. Maybe we'll take just, just the coastal territory. <laughs> take the, uh, the palace of the Argeids. Really annoy Pella. Because yeah, any further north of this, and I start feeling like we're no longer in Greece. But taking like that, that was a former Athenian colony, at least there. I feel like that could work. There, I will take a break here, though. Well, probably end the stream for the day here. Thanks for those who was watching. It was fun discussing history. It was fun building a great Athens. Next time we pick up, we'll be going down this tree. To become the Delian League again. Uh, is there Athens? Yeah, we have Rhodes back. Bit behind schedule, but hey. Because you yeah, need to take there. And your good goods. The ancient loyalists. That'll be one of the things we go for next. The lands. The said was so splendid by his sister that she sort of built a massive mausoleum with his death to honor him. There are many who have used to pass it, so she was built through Hexionians. They're like a sister on his own. Here we have the Kevin Legacy. Permanent gets population capacity, local building slots, population. Nice. Need to complete returning roads. Athens switches the to Delian League. Athens gains Delian League. Discipline 5%. Integration speed. Nice, Alpha gains four free province investments. Nice. Yeah, it looks like the Delian League is somewhat more minded towards making a bunch of feudal toys. Who knows, maybe we should. Can we actually. Where do we go to release people? There's feudal toys. I don't know, though. I have feel like I wanted to take this for myself. Delos, I left free because, yeah. I feel like the mission for the uh, Delian League should probably be more um, dirt focused, considering loyalty of subject states. But like all this territory, it's just like, hi, oh, yeah, it's yours. Or their subject. It'd be nice to have a bit more focus on it being, you know, subject related. But that'll be it for tonight. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day, and talk to you later. Goodbye.